All right. Well, we'd like to thank uh, the folks at Hauser Drug, and Mr. Barry Hebner in particular, who gave us a wizard ball tonight. We've been without the wizard ball on our broadcast this season. Barry gave us. Did he get uh, his shirt? Uh, I don't know. I didn't shirt. ask him. I, I, I meant to ask him, and we got started talking or doing something else there, but uh, he did give us a wizard ball tonight, and it's sitting in its roll of duct tape that gives it its. Uh, Gives it its uh, power there, so uh, hopefully we'll be all right. And we did the official secret formula calculation this afternoon, and through the rest of the season, if it's tonight or the state tournament or whenever, there's only five rubs left on the wizard ball. I don't believe in superstition, but you guys that do, <laughs> y'all can y'all can do whatever y'all do. Seven fifty, <laughs> our first pitch. It's fouled off. Strike one on Dustin Wiles from uh, Seth Weekly. Next pitch, a ball, one ball, and one strike to Wiles. Jarky Hopkins and Spencer Wiles to follow here in the top of the first. Winner take all game. Must win for both teams now. The uh, Gaston Braves down three games to one. Have won two in a row to force game seven here at Fraley Field. We're an hour, uh, not an hour, but we're 50 minutes. 50 minutes late starting because of a shower that went through Cherryville about five o'clock this afternoon. Two balls, two strikes, the count on Dustin Wiles. That must have hit something pretty good. There people are still looking back at it. So uh, somebody got a piece of a baseball right there. Somebody's car got a piece of a baseball. Yeah, maybe so. 2-2 two, two pitch. Bounces in there. 3-2. and two. Now weekly pitched mon Monday night. Got the win in game three. Kevin, I, you and uh, Calvin Hastings on the call that night, so yep. I didn't see Weekly that night, but it must have been a pretty pretty good outing Weekly for him. only gave up three runs, Milton, and they were all unearned. He went eight and two-thirds, mm -hmm. uh, so great night on the mound for Weekly, and uh, that, that was the night Beam came in from uh, right field to get the save with one out left there in the ninth inning. All right, here's the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball is going to get through the middle for a base hit for Wiles. So, Wiles, who's been a uh, pretty tough out in that leadoff spot, he starts things off with a single up the middle on a 3-2 pitch, and it brings up Jarky Hopkins. Hopkins, left fielder, right-handed batter. Last night, Jarky Hopkins was four for four. I didn't even realize that. Here he bunts down the third base line to play for Hastings, got him by a step, and... Uh, the sacrifice bunt moves Wiles down to second base. It's a five to four put out on Hopkins for out number one. And our umpires behind the plate, David Brown, Seth Keener at first, Phil Beam at third. Three umpires for tonight's contest. We had uh, four umpires last time here in Cherryville and The uh, crew been cut back to three last night and tonight and pitches a ball on Spencer Wiles. One ball, no strikes. <laughs> they, ran, they ran out of umpire money, so they cut them. I guess so. <laughs> uh, layoffs in the umpire core. The 1-0 pitch is in the dirt. Two balls and no strikes on Wiles. Two zero count. Dustin Wiles at second. Spencer Wiles, the batter, one out, top of the first here at Fraley Field in game seven. And pitch from Weekly is a ball three and O oh now on Spencer Wiles. Logan, the big man, Logan Armstrong on deck for the Braves. Here's the 3 0 -oh pitch. It's a strike to Spencer Wiles. Both teams last night with nine hits in the contest, but Cherryville four tough errors. The Braves made just one last night. And the three one pitch that goes into right field for a base hit. They're going to hold the runner at third as the throw comes back in. And so the Wiles brothers have both hits here in the top of the first on the corners. One out for Logan Armstrong. Big Poppy. Now this is this is a fellow who early in the series, uh, Kevin was prone to popping up. Lately, been grounding out. He's, <clears> he's a perfect double fire, play candidate. But he's been on fire lately too. He's yeah, got he a has. Bunch of hits. Coach Reynolds coming out for an infield meeting. 
With runners on the corners and one out. So I'm sure he's going over the possibility of this big guy if he does put one on the ground. Everybody know their assignments. He's a, he's a, like I say, he's a very good candidate for a double play ball if he puts one on the ground on the infield. With one out, Cherubel looking for any way to get out of this inning without runs scoring. Runs been kind of tough to come by. Cherubel lost four to three last night. And uh, there haven't been a lot of runs scored. Early on in the series, there were some high-scoring games, but it's sort of calmed down. It's sort of become tight games. And here is Logan Armstrong. Wiles on first, the other Wiles on third. And the pitch from Weekly, foul ball, third base side on the ground. 0-1 to Armstrong. Logan Armstrong starting first baseman. Neither team using the DH tonight. Armstrong played earlier on in the series as the DH. And the next pitch is a strike in there. 0-2 on Big Poppy. No balls, two strikes. One out, two on. Here's the pitch from Weekly. Curveball high. One and two the count. And the one-two pitch coming up here from Seth Weekly. Right-hander for Cherryville. It's a curveball. Oh, good-looking pitch. Ball two. Two and two. If he's not going get to that, get that called, might be a tough go of it. Two-two pitch right down the middle. Fouled off. That caught Kaiser's face mask. But he's okay. Behind the plate. Great job all season long, Luke Kaiser. 2-2 the count on the big man, Logan Armstrong. Travel looking to get out of the top of the first. Runners on the corners, and here's a pop-up. It's a pop fly instead, more of a fly out to right. Ball is caught, throw coming in, and the runner coming home will score on the sack fly, and it's an RBI for Armstrong, out number two here in the inning. Dustin while scoring. And his brother Spencer Wiles staying at first. Two down now. Right fielder Josh Beam out there looking into the evening sun, catching that ball. We got started at 7.50 this evening, 50 minutes late as they had to prepare the field after the earlier rain. Batter up is Logan Walden, the pitcher. Right-handed pitcher, left-handed batter. And it's strike one on Logan Walden. Walden's been hitting well latter part of the series. Didn't have a hit last night, but two nights ago he was tearing it up, a home run and two, three singles. And it's one ball, one strike on Walden. He is a dangerous hitter at any time. Lefty with two out and a run on first. He goes left side out of play up in the lights there and down toward the intersection of Pink Street and Church Street. 150. One and two count on Walden. One run in for the Braves, top of the first, and the pitch swung on a missed. He struck him out, did weekly for out number three, but one run scores on two hits, no errors, and one left. Played a half inning. The Braves won. Cherryville coming to bat on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard, and this is B-Square Construction, Post 100 Baseball. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant in Cherryville. It's better than good. It's great. And check out Taco Loco Monday. Tacos only $1 each. And every Monday at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant. The El Patron is open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. And Friday and Saturdays, 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. For orders to go, call 704-435-4546. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant, 910 East Church Street in Cherryville.
Dream big, pay little with the hottest deals of the season on the grasshopper mower you've always wanted during the Summer Sizzler Sale at West End Sales in Vail. Discover how fast and easy mowing can be with the grasshopper's time-saving performance and legendary durability. Select a $500 package like the Power Fold Deck or Collection System or Implement or choose a no-interest financing deal with approved credit. It's your choice. Visit West End Sales, Highway 18, 27 Intersection in Vail. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse. Let's make one trip to Ace, get help quickly from people who know their stuff, and do it all before our second cup of coffee. Get your weekend back. Ace can help you quickly turn your to-do list into a to-done list. To help out with your weekend projects, see Ferguson's Ace Hardware. Ferguson's Ace Hardware on Highway 150 East in Cherryville, helping you out with your weekend projects. Ace, the helpful place. Final thoughts coming up here, and the Braves score a run in the top of the inning off a couple of hits. No Cherryville errors. Batter up for Cherryville. Bottom of the first is Thomas Bess, be followed by Josh Beam and Blake Mosteller. Must win game, both teams. Game seven, best four out of seven, area four finals for one trip to the state tournament to join Caldwell County, the host team, out of area four. And the winner of this will be Area 4 one seed. So Caldwell will get the two seed mm -hmm. in the uh, in the state tournament. So we'll be playing, if we win, or whoever wins this game, we'll be playing Wednesday at 4.30 versus Area 1's number two seed. And have they figured that, that out That is yet? Apex, yes, Apex. it's Apex. So the, so the winner of this game will be facing Apex Wednesday at 4.30. Granite Falls up in Hickory. 1-0 pitch to Bess. Above Hickory. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. You boom goons, the road no, there. you get boom goons, know exactly where Granite Falls is in there. I used to stop in there at their Wendy's. 2-0 and o count to Thomas on base best. Here's a pitch from Armstrong. High 3-0. and o. Logan Armstrong started in game four of uh, the series and was the uh, loser in that game. 3-0 pitch, hit right back at him. Line drive. And it will take a one hop to him, and the putout goes one to three on Bess. That one was a play on the field made in uh, self defense by Walden. And a batter up is going to be the left handed hitter, number five, Josh Beam for Cherryville. And the first pitch, a strike. And the next pitch going up the middle for a base hit for Beam on the 1-0. Base hit for Beam off Walden. Did Walden pitch against Weekly Monday night? Because I can't find him in my scorebook, and that's the night I didn't do. Okay, I thought I had saw him pitch against Cherryville. So I can't find him. I thought he pitched game four, but I can't find him, and I didn't. And he, pitched a good, and he pitched a good game as well. Uh, Cheryl didn't uh, get that many runs off of him. So a uh, single with one out for Cherryville brings up Blake Mosteller. And the pitch outside, ball one. Cheryl down a run here in the bottom of the first medical, on the uh, Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard. Beam at first base, gets his lead. Armstrong, the first baseman, shielding his eyes. Kevin, in that evening sun. Oh, yeah. Beam could take a big lead if the pitcher throws over there. The worst position. He might not see the ball coming. The worst position in baseball in high school sports is first base at Cherville before the sun goes down. And the 2-0 pitch popped up. Second baseman will not get there. Beam will make it into second. Kind of had to, you know, hold up to see there. Yeah, he had to wait a minute. The little floater over the second baseman's head. I mean, he, he could have almost got caught in no man's land there. Uh, did a good job judging the ball, seeing it was going to get down and advancing to second, so he didn't get uh, forced out. That's going to bring up Seth Winkley. Runners on second and third. Weekly now uh, have a chance to help his cause. Oh, yes, indeed. Uh, infield fly rule is on. One out, runners first and second here. Bottom of the first, Cheryl down by a run. Here's the pitch to Weekly outside. Ball one. 
Logan Walden, the right-hander for the Braves. Working and pitching to his uh, counterpart here weekly. Tonight's terrible pitcher, Bouncer to second in the hole. He bobbles it. Only play will be to first. He throws it away. Threw it away. Here comes the tying run home, and the ball got into the yeah. dugout. Time has been called, so they'll get. I don't think the big man, Kevin, ever saw that ball coming toward him. I don't think he was ready at all. <laughs> he missed it. He just missed it. It was not a bad throw. I give the error to the first baseman. Armstrong tonight started get, getting the start at first. He's been playing DH, and he's gotten to play a little first the last couple of games. Cherville's got runners at second and third, and a run in. We're tied one-to-one. -one. Hauser Drug, Mr. Sparky scoreboard. It's going to be Chandler Jenkins. Jenkins to right field and deep right fielder back. It's over his head at the rolling to the fence. Two runs will score. Jenkins has got a double here tonight. He was our MVP last night. Yes, he was. With and a he, big triple. And he showed why getting the start again here tonight after he had such a great night last night. And first pitch, swing and puts one, uh, one hops the wall. A two-run double, and it makes it three to one, Cherryville. Bottom of the first with only one out for Dylan Hastings and Chandler Jenkins at second base here. Dylan Hastings, a right-handed hitter up here. And the first pitch to him fouled straight back. 0-1 on Hastings, starting third baseman tonight. I'm sure if at some point in the evening, if need be, he would probably come in. On oh, the mound yeah. and a All relief hands on save. Deck tonight. Yes, everybody. Throw everybody in the kitchen sink. And it's one ball, one strike to Hastings. Had this game been rained out tonight, you know, possibly Dylan might have started. Hey, yeah, Hastings might have started. Uh... And the pitch is a strike called. Mm, one and two on Dylan Hastings. One ball, two strikes. The count, one out. One on for Cherville. Three runs in, three to one our score, bottom of the first. And the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? Did he go? Yes, says the umpire at second base. And he is called out on strikes. Strikeout swinging for out number two. Brings up Brett Huff. Brett Huff, right handed hitter, second baseman, batting seventh in the order. Cherryville leads three to one. And here's the pitch to Huff outside. <laughs> Cherryville with three hits, and there's been a Braves error here in the bottom of the first. Beam scoring first on that throwing error. To, and then Moss Settler and Weekly came in to score after the Jenkins double. Here's the pitch popped out of play. One ball, one strike to Huff. Cherryville, by the way, for you listening on radio, in their white uniforms with red numerals, the Braves in the dark blue vest with red sleeves and gray pants. And the 1-1 pitch hit at third base. It is a foul ball. Foul ball, strike two on Huff. One and two, the count, two out. Jenkins back to second. <laughs> That ball was clearly fouled. Coach Friend would still looking for somebody to argue with. <laughs> <laughs> That's game seven. Get your money's worth tonight. Oh, know. yeah. <clears throat> next next stop for one of the teams, uh, for the winner tonight, next stop's the state playoff, state tournament. Milton, we got our new home plate cam hooked up tonight. There you go. So you, can see, you can see a good view right there behind the, hey, behind the catcher's. Uh, I like that. Maybe if it's a little bit higher, we could see a little bit better view of the pitcher. We wish and this we could... one gets by the catcher to the backstop. Down to third will go Jenkins. Wild pitch. Go ahead, Kev. I was going to say, wish we, could... we can't zoom in on that camera, though. That's the only, that's the only problem. Where you got so that thing setting at? It's, it's setting right in the backstop uh, okay. on the other side of the, of the net. That's a good uh, view. So, I mean, we could, we, if we have this on it, we could catch a foul ball. Hopefully the umpire's head will get in the way of a foul ball <laughs> hitting it. That's what we was talking about earlier. Is it going to get hit by a foul ball? But, I mean, yeah. it'd have to be. Dead on. He'd have to be out of position, yeah. 2-2 two -two pitch. Bounces away. Here comes the runner home, and he is going to score standing Chandler Jenkins on another wild pitch from Logan Walden. And Cherryville leads 4-1. to one. Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard. The count is 3-2 on Brett Huff. Cherryville 
with four runs here in the bottom of the first. Four to one score, and we're going to have a meeting on the mound. Assistant coach for the Braves has come out and meeting with his infield now, trying to settle things down as Cherryville has scored four runs. There are two outs and three and two on Brett Huff with Spencer Stamey on deck here in the bottom of the first at Fraley Field. I'm going to go ahead and get some lights turned on here pretty soon. Field but, now in and, the shadows. And, folks, that's once again, that's not the head coach for the Gas Rays. The head coach is actually out of town for a wedding. He mm. actually missed his flight. Had to, yeah, had and to catch so a plane. had to end up, they said he ended up, he's driving to wherever he's oh. going, but they don't even know where, where he's going. So, uh, coach on the road tonight, if you're watching uh, or listening. 3 2 pitch to Huff. Foul. I bet he's going to the Olympics. I bet he just said wedding. <laughs> he's gone to the Olympics. Opening ceremonies. Yeah. He missed one heck of a flight if he was going to open the ceremonies. <laughs> 3 and 2 still on Huff. That's, that's a six, seven hour flight. I know. I've been on it. It's mm. not fun. Here's the 3 2 again. Foul back again by Brett Huff. Brett's staying alive. Yeah. Well, uh, the. Folks, you can see our camera has been blocked. <laughs> I'll go fix that between innings. There you go. Yeah, we're getting a, getting a little net there after that foul ball. Get the net and mess the camera up. Here is ball four to Huff, so a two-out walk. Inning continues for Cherryville and for Spencer Stamey, the batter up. Spencer Stamey filling in at shortstop for the injury to uh, Kraft. And Stamey has responded well. Had a hit last night. Been hitting the ball pretty well in the time he's got to play in this series. Folks, I'm going to fix that between innings. <laughs> Ball hit right above the our camera and the net got kinda, a little loose. Kind of knocked it. Maybe Shandy didn't do uh, a good enough job getting it away from the net. I don't know. Uh-oh, now. 0-1, oh and, and the pitch swung on a missed 0-2 oh on Stamey against Logan Walden. It's 4-1 to one Cherryville, bottom of the first, two out, one on. And a pitch from Walden, strike three called. And that'll do it for post 100. Four runs for Cherryville on three hits, one error, one left. We played an inning, four to one, Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Scoreboard. And this is B-Square Construction, post 100 baseball. Hi, I'm Sherry Hefner, the pastor's wife at the First Baptist Church of Cherryville. Proverbs 22.6 says, Teach your children the way they should go, and when they grow up, they will not depart from it. As a mother of four teens and young adult children, I can attest to the many challenges of Christian parenting in these modern times. That is why this scripture is such a comfort to me. I can rest assured knowing that regardless of the choices my children may make in life, they can never get away from the godly upbringing that my husband and I have provided for them. Are you laying a godly foundation for your children? This is Sherry Hefner of First Baptist Cherryville, where we strive to accomplish all things through Christ. Buy one, get a second and half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27 West of Lincoln. Ask about their buy one, get one half price specials. On Mondays, it's a poor boy basket. Tuesdays, a cheeseburger basket. Wednesdays, a barbecue basket. Thursdays, a chicken filet basket. And on Fridays, it's a big old fish basket. Buy one, get one half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27, two miles west of Lincoln. And be sure to use their convenient drive through window. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As we go to the second inning here, 4-1 to one, Cherryville, Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard on the B-Square Construction Broadcast. Batter up for the Gaston Braves is Justin Williams, who will be followed by Derek Perry and Aaron Biggerstaff. So the uh, 6, 7, and 8 spots for the Braves coming up here. They're down 4-1 to one now. They took a... Brought a run in in the first, a uh, leadoff single by Wiles. He came in to score later in the inning on a sack fly, and it's ball one to Williams from Seth Weekly. Get that camera all straight now. Yeah, Kevin. if I could go back down there, I'm going to take some tape with me. Here's a fly ball to center field on the 1-0 pitch, best under it for out number one. Williams down, and that'll bring up Derek Perry. Perry, the starting shortstop tonight, but... Uh, 
the Braves have been prone to switch their infielder, middle well, infielders around. He's, in he's also he's also been taken out in the middle of a game of an inning at shortstop. He's probably got at least five of their uh, nineteen errors. Yeah, he has made uh, <laughs> a few of those. You're right, and uh, it's ball one from Seth Weekly. On all those strikes, the count on Derek Perry. The pitch, and that looked close, but no cigar. Two and zero. Oh. To an O to Perry, right-handed batter for the Braves. One out, nobody on top of the second. 4-1 Cherryville, bouncer to third base. Hastings knocks it down, still may have time. Throw to first. High throws it over the head of Jenkins, and it'll be second base for Perry. It's an error scored on the throw. And with one out, Perry goes to second base. And that will bring up Aaron Biggerstaff. Biggerstaff, second baseman, right-handed batter. Last night, he had a double and a run scored in that awful sixth inning. The uh, night before, he struck out four times. And this one's off the fist. Foul territory, first base side. Jenkins gives chase, but can't get there. And it's 0-1. On Aaron Biggerstaff. Biggerstaff. Ryan Abatter steps back in. One out, one on for the Braves. Top of the second. 4 1 chair of a lead. Lights now coming on here at Fraley Field. Time again. Home plate umpire again is David Brown, Seth Keener, and Phil Beam on the bases. The 0-1 pitch, curveball, high. One ball, one strike. I can hear somebody in the dugout now. Bend your back, Seth. <laughs> Break off a little bit high and snap it off a little bit more. Bend his back a little bit more, get that down, and be a really good pitch. Next pitch, 1-1, one, one, swung on, missed, and Kaiser was going to try to throw to third with Perry running. Couldn't get the ball out of his glove and give Perry a stolen base, and it's 1-2. On bigger staff. A little hit and run action from the Braves here. In the bottom of the top of the second inning, and down four to one already. They started off one to nothing, probably feeling good about themselves. And Cherville with four big runs. Foul ball. It is still one ball and two strikes on bigger staff. Here's the. One, two again. Curveball for a strike. And that's out number two on the care of bigger staff. That's going to bring up 15, Patrick Horn, the catcher and also quarterback at South Point. So Horn with a man at third, but two down now. And the pitch from Weekly is a ball. Started at 7.50 this evening, and uh, Phil looks in pretty good shape. Rain shower went through around 5 o'clock or so. And the 1-0 pitch is inside 2-0 on Horn. You should have never gave your phone number to Josh. I'll just <laughs> go ahead and tell you that. I was just texting him the score. He's over at the fairgrounds racetrack tonight. He says, Awesome. I gave him the charitable score. Foul ball, it's two and one. Two balls, one strike, two out. Man at third for the Braves. Down four to one, top of the second. The pitch. Foul back, two and two. Deuce is wild now, Patrick Horn. Seth Weekly. Trying to get this last out in the top of the second. Cherryville, four runs on three hits and a Braves error in the bottom of the first to take the lead four to one. Braves scored a run in the first on two hits. No errors. Curveball struck him out swinging. And that's it for the Braves in the second. No runs on no hits. One error, one left. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Still four to one, Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug scoreboard. 
Bruce isn't sure why he's out here, but this happens every time Aunt Betty and her allergies come to town, doesn't it, Bruce? But now, Train can help downtrodden animals like Bruce. A Train Clean Effect system removes up to 99.98% of the allergens from all the air that it heats or cools, so your owners will never choose Aunt Betty over you again. Let's go find your family a train dealer. Call Roland Black Heating and Cooling, 704-865-1375. It's hard to stop a train. Take time out from your busy, hectic life and have some fun, lots of fun, at Exhilaration Station in Cherryville. Exhilaration Station has something every family member would enjoy. Batting cages, mini golf, games for every age. Why, Exhilaration Station can even help you with that next great birthday party. Open seven days a week. Behind the old Harris Teeter in Cherryville, call 704-435-0670. Remember, take time out and have some good old-fashioned fun at Exhilaration Station. And we're back here, bottom of the second at Fraley Field, game seven. Winner take all to the state championship tournament in Granite Falls starting next Wednesday. Cherville up four to one. Batter's going to be Luke Kaiser in the top of the order. Thomas Bess followed by Josh Beam. Cherville four runs in the first to lead four to one. Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard. And the pitch from Logan Arms, or excuse me, Logan Walden is a ball to Kaiser. And a 1-0 pitch. There's a shot to left field. And it's going to get by the left fielder. Roll to the fence. Kaiser's in the second. Stand up double leading off the second inning here. Good job by Luke Kaiser. Double to the corner. And he's been hot out of the nine hole. Yes, he has. He's been hitting the ball really well the last few games. I think he was over 400 on the sheet you had last night. And yeah, and uh, he's he was three for four last night. So that helped. <laughs> made it even better, whatever it was. Yeah, and <clears throat> a couple games before that, he had a had a hit in the series. And so Kaiser starts terrible off and. Great fashion here in the bottom of the second. There's a strike to Thomas Bess. Bess, who was a, uh, as hot as he had been in this series, hard to believe. He was an 0 for 4 last night. Yeah. Over 5. First night the, that he didn't get a hit in the series. He was on fire until last night, and he's over his last 7 now. Pop fly to center field. Center fielder catches it. Kaiser's going to tag. He's coming to third. Here's the throw, and he just got there. Kaiser just got there. Good slide by the Kaiser, sliding to the opposite side of the bag where the ball is coming. And uh, in there safe at third. And now post 100 with a runner at third. Josh Beam up to bat, the lefty. Coach Reynolds uh, giving him a little pep talk from third base. And Beam, one for one on the night with a run scored. We're in the bottom of the second now. Four to one, chair of a one out runner at third. And the pitch from Walden to Beam is low. One ball and no strikes. And the next pitch, check swing, ball two. Oh, for his last eight is Thomas Best going back to game five, the last at bat in game five. Here's the 2 0 pitch outside. It's 3-0 and to Beam. Don't mean to sound like we're turning on Bess, but it's just it's just hard to figure the way he had been this tearing the ball up. Walden cleans off the pitcher's plate. 3 and O's to count on Beam. Kaiser's at third. One out. And the pitch. A strike called, three and one now to Josh Beam. Here's the three-one pitch, rounder to first, foul ball. Count will be three and two on Josh Beam. 
Three balls, two strikes, one out to the charitable left-handed hitter, right fielder Josh Bean. Shandy, you're going to have to turn that uh, turn that camera off and back on out there, buddy. There you go. And here's the pitch. Ball forward to Bean. Oh, look, at Luke Kaiser. Look, Was he's going to steal home. Look, he's he just walked home. home. The catcher, the catcher <laughs> just stood there and held the ball and threw back to the pitcher. As Kaiser was coming across the plate, I've oh, never they seen a balk. I thought they might have called a balk. So Beam's coming back to finish his at bat. I was wondering about that. <laughs> Beam went on down to Beam went on down to first. That was about to be the best run ever. He snuck on in there. I thought he. <laughs> well, I was thinking, had they not called maybe called a balk there, and that was the thing. So a balk makes it five to one, and it's still three and two on Beam. And this pitch is called strike three. And that's two away. We were all sitting there hoping the catcher didn't tag Luke when he came down the line. He just walked down the line. And we thought it was a, a ball four. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> he, he just trotted on in. The catcher just stood there. And I thought, does he realize? That this is live on? and there's not four people on? <laughs> I thought Luke thought there was four people on it. And he just ran home. I was like, oh, gosh. <laughs> and the batter ups the Blue Miss, Blake Mosteller, with two out and nobody on now. That would have been bad. I said are singled <laughs> in the first and came in to score later on on the uh, Jenkins double. It's 2-0 and o to the Blue Mist. So a ball called a moment ago brings Kaiser in from third, and it's 5-1 to one Cherryville. And it's high 3-0 and o on Mosteller. Blake Mosteller, starting left fielder, right-handed hitter. Swing and a miss at the 3-1 pitch from Logan Walden. 3-1 and one count now. Took a huge hack at ball four there. Next pitch, fouled off. It's 3-2. Three, three balls, two strikes, two out. Nobody on, bottom of second, 5-1 Cherryville. A leadoff double by Kaiser. He went to third on a fly out and came in to score on the balk. The pitch, curveball, called strike oh. three. And that'll do it for post 100 here in the second inning. One run on one hit, no errors, and nobody left. We go to inning number three, 5-1 Cherryville on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard. This is B-Square Construction Post 100 Baseball. There you go, Ann. Your new account is now open. Just one more little thing. Here's your card. What was that? It's my new bank. Every time I turn around, I get hit with another fee. You need to get an account at Carolina Federal Credit Union. She's right. Tired of getting hit by bank fees? Switch to Carolina Federal Credit Union today. Make those pennies go away. Here's your receipt. It's time to gear up to mow the grass, prune the trees, and trim the weeds. To help with your outdoor projects, Husqvarna has everything you need. This means you can save time on the job, get the job done right, and enjoy the results of your hard work. Stop by Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reachville Road in Lincoln and see the full line of Husqvarna products. Husqvarna can help you with all of your lawn and landscape needs. Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center in Lincoln, Husqvarna. Tame in the wild. All right, folks. Welcome back, Welcome back. as we go to the third inning. 5-1 Cherryville, Gaston Braves coming to bat here. Top of the order, Dustin Wiles is up. Wiles, first pitch, fly ball, left side out of play, and it's strike one. Wiles, a single and a run scored in the first inning. Hopkins and Spencer Wiles due to follow here. Top of the third inning, 5-1 Cherryville, ground ball first baseman. Jenkins got it. He'll tag the bag three and assisted on Dustin Wiles. Brings up Jarky Hopkins. Hopkins a sack bunt in the first inning. Hopkins four for four last night. Didn't hurt his 
Calls with that sack bunt in the first inning tonight. One down, nobody on for the Gaston Braves. Winner take all game. Game seven of the Area Four Finals, and it's ball one to Hopkins. The other seeds are set for the state tournament, including Caldwell County, the host team. The other teams, I'll give you in a moment. One of pitch, a ball. Area one, Pitt County's the number one seed. Apex, the number two seed. Area two, Whiteville's the number one seed. Wilmington, the number two seed. Area three, High Point, the number one seed. And check swing, pop out of play, right side. High Point, the winner of Area three, and Randolph County, the runner up. So Pitt County, Apex, Whiteville, Wilmington, High Point, Randolph County, Caldwell County as the host team and the winner of this game. Up at Caldwell County, starting next Wednesday, Apex will play the winner of Area 4. Cherryville or Gaston Braves, foul ball. Two and two on Jarkey Hopkins. Those other areas, Area 1 had only a one-game playoff. Area two had a two out of three series. Area three had a three out of four. Area four is having a four out of seven. Nothing like consistency. Three and two now on Hopkins. <laughs> had this series been a one game playoff, a two out of three, or a three out of four, Cherville would have won it in any way. They had the upper hand. Here's one. Diving stop by Hastings at third and just not in time on the throw, but what a play. By Dylan Hastings. And a great stretch by Jenkins over at first. Give, uh, gave Hastings every inch he could. What? That did pretty much a split over there. Yes, and what Hastings did there, diving for that one, was probably saving uh, saving it from saving a single a double, to a yeah, double. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. He saved a double. Saved a double, uh, made it a single. Moss Sellers almost playing in the gap so far in left field. Um, so, yeah. If that ball would have got down the line, it would have been a double easy for Hopkins. Here's Spencer Wiles, who singled in the first. First pitch to him, ball inside. Spencer Wiles, right fielder. He was 0 for 3 last night. He's not had a real good. Here's a ground ball. It's going to get through for a base hit tonight. <coughs> Hopkins, big turnaround. Second uh -oh. throw back. He just got back in. So Wiles, I almost had it out of my mouth. He hadn't had a big, hadn't had a real good series hitting the ball. And he took the words right out of my mouth as he uh, singled on the 1-0 pitch. And that brings up Logan Armstrong. Logan Armstrong sack fly in the first inning. Pitch inside. Him, yeah. Oh, it hit him. Hit by a pitch, and there's a lot of him to hit there. Bases loaded, one out, and it brings up Logan Walden. Hit him right in the belly. Mm. Speaking of belly, my belly's full, and yours will be too if you had to Pat's Drive-In, 604 West Church Street in Cherryville. They'll be open in the morning at 6 o'clock for breakfast, 11 o'clock. Be ready for lunch, dinner all the way to 8.30 tomorrow night. Open those same hours Monday through Saturday. Pat's Drive-In, call your order in, 704-435-8833. Have it ready to go or eat when you get there. And here's Armstrong fly ball to center. Bess will catch it. Hopkins will tag. He will score. Throw in cut off by the shortstop, Stamey. And runners hold up at first and second. So a sack fly for Logan Walden makes it a 5-2 ball game. And out number two. And the batter will be Justin Williams. Fly out to center his first time up. So the Braves will... Nip and peck at that uh, deficit. Oh, this Kevin. team is never out of it, Melvin. That in the series, in a game, anytime. They're, these are these are the comeback kids. If I've ever seen the comeback kids. Yep, and with two out, runners first and second are run in. Curveball for a strike from Weekly to Williams. Cherville had the big four run first inning. Added one in the third. Gave that one back here in the bottom. Or excuse me. Cherville added that run in the bottom of the second. And the Braves got it back here in the top third. Here's a ground ball to Chandler Jenkins at first. He can't hold it. 
Runner coming home, and he will score on the E3. And it's just like that, a two-run ball game as Wiles running all the way came in to score. Logan Armstrong down at second. Williams aboard first with two out. It's a two-run game, five to three. The Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard. A hit by pitch, a sack fly, and a E3, Milton. No, right, three opportunities mm -hmm. for uh, – Three big breaks going the Braves' way here in this inning. No, nobody was, you know, the, with really any hits. They had a 40 errors total. It was 20 to 20. So, yep, uh, errors were tied. 20 to 20 in the series. So now mm. we can't. <laughs> mm -mm. 1 0 pitch to to uh, Perry is small two. Well, did you see Coach Reynolds' uh, comments in the papers, Milton, where he talked about um, whoever makes the least errors wins? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Trevor right now has made two, leading on the scoreboard. And in the error department tonight, the hits are tied at four to four. Terrible two errors, Braves one error. It's five to three score, and the two O pitch is a strike to Perry. It's it's just hard to win games when you consistently making four or more errors a game, and it's it's happened for both teams in this series. But now last night, Terrible made four errors. The Braves only won, and they won the game by one run. And the 2 1 pitch here is a ball. 20 errors for Cherville, 20 errors for the Braves at this point in the seven game series. And a 3 1 pitch. Ground ball, third base. It's a fair ball, and Hastings will step on the back three unassisted to get Armstrong, and it'll be a fielder's choice for Perry. But two runs score in the inning on. Two hits, one error, and two runners left. We go to the bottom of the third. It's now 5-3 Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Scoreboard, and this is B-Square Construction, Post 100 Baseball. Post one, post one. For over 50 years, Napa Auto Parts in Cherryville has been locally owned and operated. Napa Auto Parts in Cherryville specializes in auto parts, paint, hydraulic hoses, and more. Plus, they have an experienced and knowledgeable staff working to serve you, no matter what your automotive needs are. See Drew and his crew of automotive specialists at Napa Auto Parts, 905 East Main Street in Cherryville. Call 704-435-4581 today. Cherryville and North Lake Country Club are both open to and welcome to the public. Both locations have been recently remodeled and are available for weddings and receptions, also reunions, corporate and private parties, and more. The Cherryville Country Club is open for lunch and supper Thursday and Friday from 11 to 9, and both Cherryville Country Club and the North Lake Country Club are accepting new memberships at this time. The Cherryville Country Club golf course is also available to the public. Come on down for a great meal and great golfing experience. Cherryville Country Club and the North Lake Country Club. Going to the bottom of the third here at Fraley Field. Game seven of the Area Four Finals. Cherryville up five to three now. The Braves getting within a couple of runs with. Two runs on two hits and an error in the top of the third. And batter up for Cherville Weekly. First pitch foul back. 0-1 on Seth Weekly. So Cherville jumped out to the 5-1 lead. Braves whittling away at it a little bit. And a lot of baseball yet to play here tonight. Can't get too comfortable with any lead in this series or just about any Legion game. Here's Weekly up the middle. Set short stop smothers it, but no chance to get Weekly a... Infield single for Seth Weekly, and he's on for the second time. He reached on an error in the first and scored, and it brings up Chandler Jenkins. Jenkins, a double, a two RBI double in the first. He had the error in the top of the third and allowed one run to score, but he's been a good fit at first base last night, especially. And here's pitch inside to the left-handed batter. Ball one. Hastings on deck for Cherryville. One on, nobody out here. Looking to get some runs back. There's a ball outside to the lefty, 2-0. and 
the pitch coming up from Walden. It is ball three. Three and oh on Chandler Jenkins. And the 3 0 pitch is ball four. Say hello to, and that runs, puts runners at first and second. Say hello to Herman listening in Little River tonight. Herman not only listening, he's watching actually on whatsupshopper.com. Yes, and the first baseman for the Braves is a big one. <laughs> big poppy, they call him. And it brings up Dylan Hastings. Up for one tonight, Hastings. First and second, nobody out. The big man's way in on the grass looking for a bunt here from Hastings. He takes it back and it's ball one. Dylan Hastings, starting third baseman, right-handed hitter here. Bats uh, sixth in the order tonight. And he shows bunt again. It's high. Throw down to second. Almost took his pitcher's cap off. <laughs> and the ball late getting there, getting back in safely is weekly. It's 2-0 and o on Hastings. That came so close to hitting Logan Walden in the head. Mm. It ain't funny. The throw you tell the, the catcher, catcher when he's going to throw it, it's your job to get out of the way. That's right. Hastings showing bun again. Pitch is a strike. 2-1. and one. Did not like that call, and that's the second time. He didn't like the strike count call a few innings ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, now he's not liking the... Uh, Umpire strike zone. Shows bunt again. And it's low ball three. Three and one on Hastings. Weekly's at second. Jenkins at first. Weekly on a base hit. Jenkins on a walk. And the uh, pitch is high, but he, he offered at it, and mm -hmm. it's three and two. Not a good pitch to, to bunt at, man. You, he's got he's to know better to pull that back. I think Hastings is a little... A little frustrated right now over the umpire's calls and didn't make a play at third, and uh, he's having a little trouble right now trying to get this bunt down. 3-2 pitch. He bunts it. First base side. It's a foul ball. It'll be a strikeout. So. Yeah, Coach Reynolds over at first. <laughs> not, not too excited about that. Not a good at bat there. And like I say, tough call. It was a 2-0 pitch, and it was pretty low. And it was called a strike, and that just seemed to affect the well, rest he, of the bat. Well, if he had pulled the bat back on a 3-1 pitch, he wouldn't yeah. have had to worry about it. He would just walk. It looked like it was coming about his chin, and I at first thought he was trying to get out of the way, and maybe the bat offered, you know, he inadvertently swung at it or offered at it with the bunt. Here's 0-1 on Huff, and that one nearly hits Huff. Ball will go to the backstop, and the runners will move up on the – I'd say wild pitch, even though the catcher had it, uh, the mid on it. It was pretty wild. <laughs> it was still pretty wild. Well, uh, if the catcher doesn't catch it, there should be a reason for it. So uh, Yeah. One and one to count on. Uh, that's the name of his job. Batter. That's his job title, Milton. He catch is the ball. catcher. And here's a pop-up. I lost oh, it. Oh, pop fly. Excuse me. So is the left fielder. He lost it. He's having to come in a long way. Finally caught it. Runner at third tags. Coming home standing will be weekly. Down to third. They're going to get um, Chandler Jenkins out at third. So yeah. that's the third out. But Cherubel gets a run in. Weekly scores on the sack fly by Brett Huff, who the left fielder done a great job just to recover and get the put out. And the put out will go – on Jenkins, seven to two to five for out number three. Cherryville gets one of the runs back. It's six three, one run in the inning on one hit, no errors, and mm, nobody left. We played three six three Cherryville. Back in a moment. Since 1900, the Stamey Funeral Home in Faustin has been serving the families of our area with the finest in funeral service. In 1998, the Tysinger family began to serve the families of the Cherryville community and today are a proud member of that community, providing services with dignity and respect. Caring for your family like our own, that's their slogan. Come talk with manager Pete Kraft about the services they provide at the Stamey Cherryville Funeral Home, 405 North Dixie Street in Cherryville. The Car Store in Cherryville is your source for auto sales and service. 
Stop by and see the Jenkins boys for the best deals around on pre-owned vehicles. The Car Store now does inspections, oil changes, tire and wheel changes, along with brake service, paintless dent removal, and minor repairs. The Car Store in Cherryville is locally owned and operated for 20 years on the Lincoln and Highway, 150 East in Cherryville. Let them earn your business. If they don't have it, they'll find it. Call 704-435-1988. TRT Trailer Sales stocks one of the largest selections of trailers nationwide. No matter what you're looking for, TRT Trailer Sales has it or can get it. Motorcycle trailers, gooseneck and concessions, race trailers, go-kart trailers, Venos, horse trailers, and of course utility trailers. Name brands include Shadowmaster, Cargo Express, and more. 90 days same as cash, just in credit, zero dollars down. TRT Trailer Sales off Highway 321, exit 20 just south of Lincoln. At 1877-279-7465. The fourth inning here at Fraley Field, 6-3 Cherryville. And there's a strike to Aaron Biggerstaff leading off the inning for the Gaston Braves. Biggerstaff a strikeout looking in the second. Pitch from weekly of all one ball, one strike. So Cherryville. Let's see, the Braves scored in the top of the first, one run. Cherville put four on in the bottom of the first. Cherville added another run, bottom of the second. And here's a foul ball. Uh, the Braves put two on in the top of the third to make it five to three. Cherville added one in the bottom of the third. And we're six to three here in the top of the fourth now. One ball, two strikes to count on bigger staff. Pitch from Weekly. He pops this one, going to get down for a base hit over the first baseman's head there. Josh Beam in right field will scoop it up near the line. Single for bigger staff. And that on a one-two pitch brings up Patrick Horn. Horn struck out swinging in the second inning. To end that inning, he bats ninth in the order for the Gaston Braves. And hit by bigger staff, he just kind of pushed the bat out there and it hit off the end of it and just went in no man's land. You get those sometimes. Here's a bunt, pop up back to the pitcher, throw to first. He got back in time. The pitcher weekly. Never let go of it. Never let go of it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's one of those quick pop-ups, almost like a line drive back to the pitcher where uh, the runner had time to see the ball in the air and, and to get back. And uh, that's going to be now one out. Post 100, so not only are these teams not catching the ball, Milton, neither team can get a bunt down. No, the fundamentals there. Batters Dustin Wiles, top of the order, and he takes strike one. Wiles, a tough little out here. He's a little, little guy, thin fella. Plays center field. He singled and scored in the first. He did ground out to the first baseman in the third inning, and the pitch is in dirt, one ball, one strike. One on, one out for the Braves here, top of the fourth. 6 3, Cherva leads. And weekly delivers. 1-1 one, one pitch is high. 2-1 and one from Seth Weekly. After the bottom of the sixth inning tonight, folks, we're going to play a little What's Up Shopper, our local celebrity of the game. So, Freddie, start picking out a celebrity in the stands that you can get a good shot on. Uh, in about Because after the sixth inning, when Cheryl bats, uh, we're going to stay right here and not take a break, and we're going to play some celebrity fan of the game as Coach Reynolds now is going to make the trip out to the mound. We're going to take a quick break, Milton. All right, you know, too. We'll do that. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Thinking about remodeling your home, or maybe you're even thinking about building a new home, or maybe a new building out back. Either way, call on the building experts at B Squared Construction. Get your project started today. From decks to roofing to kitchen and bath to siding to gutters, also window and door replacement. With over 40 years of combined experience, B Squared Construction. Call Brad Beatonhead at 704 201 4453 or Banjo Strap at 704-713-8296 to get your project started today. All right. All right. Title sponsor. Thank you to our title sponsor, B-Square Construction. All right, two, one, the count here on Wiles. The runner first and one out. Here's the fly ball to center. Bess back under it and makes the catch two away. Runner first retreats back there. That's bigger staff. Two out for Hopkins. Hopkins 
who sacrificed bunt in the first and a base hit in the third. He came in to score on the sack fly by Walden. Another run scored in the third after a charitable error, allowing a runner from second to come all the way around. And here is a strike on Hopkins. Big, big crowd here tonight. Friday night baseball in Cherryville. No one pitch is in the dirt. Did he go? They'll not ask the first base umpire. Kaiser wanted the appeal, but didn't get it. One and one on Hopkins. The pitch. And here's a line shot right at the Blue Mist out there in left field for out number three. So the leadoff single goes for naught. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Still 6-3 Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Scoreboard. It's B-Square Construction Baseball on WCSL and WhatsUpShopper.com. Cherryville Self Storage is your complete storage center. They have units from 5x5 up to 10x30. They also sell moving supplies such as locks, slip covers, ropes, and more. Cherryville Self Storage is the first storage facility in Cherryville and is also the newest units in town. They're also the only storage facility in the surrounding area with climate controlled units. All storage units have 24 hour access and have paid lots for your convenience. Units are also monitored by security cameras, as well as treated monthly for pest control. For more information, call 704-435-4909. College Building Supplies in Dallas can save you money on kitchen and bath cabinets, exterior siding, all-size lumber, treated and regular. 5E galvanized metal starts at $1549 per sheet. Wooden storage buildings start at $1,099. Three-tab roofing shingles, $44.96 a square or $14.99 a bundle. College Building Supplies, across from Gaston College. Open Monday through Saturday. Call 704-922-8649. Welcome back. Getting a good view. Is that is that what the folks are seeing? Yeah. Yep. Getting a good view from right behind home plate. Three cameras tonight. Thanks to uh, Shandy Clark and uh, Freddie, Farley. Freddie Farley. Yeah. Andre Bush will be here in a little bit. He said he's going to jump up on the Henry Dome with Freddie and uh, enjoy the last few innings. He's had some things to do, places to see. He'll be here shortly. 1-0 pitch to Stamey. Foul back. One by one strike on Spencer Stamey. Spencer 0 for 1 on the night. Cherry lead 6-3. Bottom of the fourth. A lead off single by the Braves in the top of the fourth, but he never got off first base after that. As Weekly was able to retire him in order following the single. And a curve ball for strike. It's 1-2 and two on Stamey. It's not where he catches the ball. I realize that. But still, some of these curveballs look to be coming in pretty low. Here's a shot to the second baseman throw in time to get Stamey. Four to three. Four to three on the put out. Hey, to Dango. Dango, got your radio. Hey, there he is. Dango's in his spot in the stand. Saw Dango down at Pat's drive in. Dango, sorry I didn't get to come over and speak to you, buddy, but I had to hurry on out here. It was getting a little bit late there and he couldn't think about nothing but his lot burger that's right i had the fat boy oh, okay. which is a lot of burger with lettuce tomato and mayonnaise basically <laughs> lot of burger at malcolm's has uh slaw tomato and pickle 1-0 pitch coming here to kaiser and it's ball two two and oh two and oh one out nobody on for cherryville 6-3 lead, bottom of the fourth. And Kaiser's going to get a little bloop single into left field. Look at Luke, two for two on the night. And he has a run scored. He's on third. He snuck in, didn't he? He snuck <laughs> in on the ball. <laughs> we didn't know what was going on. He was tiptoeing down the line. It looked like, like he was going to sneak in there. And we thought that he was. We thought Coach Reynolds had come up with some, some insane idea to let <laughs> To let Luke just walk down the line and act like he got walked in. <laughs> but and nonetheless, it was a balk. Of course, we couldn't hear it up here in the press think, box. But it was weird to watch what was going on in the field. That's right. Here's top of the order. Bass as the ball gets by the catcher, and Kaiser will go to second base. A wild pitch from Logan Walden. That's about three, four 
wild pitches. Four wild pitches tonight by Logan Armstrong. It's cost him some bases and some runs. And one run for sure. And here's the 1-0 pitch inside to Bess. 2-0, Thomas Bess. 6-3, post 100 leads here. The bottom of the fourth inning of the Gaston Braves. Game 7, Area 4 Finals winner tonight. We'll play next Wednesday at 4.30 against Pitt County. Is that what you said? Uh, Apex. Apex, Apex. Yeah. They played Pitt. They played Pitt, Pitt in a one-game playoff. Pitt got play the one off. seed. Yeah. And so uh, the winner of this will be playing the two seed in a one-game playoff. And this Area 4 decided to go seven. The other one decided to go one. Well, and, and it's two two different situations too, Milton. Uh, the the winner of this, they have to win it in this one, in this area of finals, yeah. and in that finals, they were both already in the state tournament. I guess both teams decided, hey, let's save our pitch and let's play one game. Let's rest up a week. It doesn't matter where technically where you end up seated in that tournament. Um, exactly right. Because they don't see them one through eight, they see them one two one two based on where you're at. So uh, as far as that goes, I can understand doing a one game or, or a three game series, maybe. Yeah. Uh, unless they wanted to sell hot dogs and they could have <laughs> had seven. Well, best walks, and that brings up Beam with two on and one out here in the bottom of the fourth. It's ball one to Josh Beam. Beam singled and scored in the first, struck out looking in the second inning. Left-handed hitter up for Cherryville. Josh Beam, the pitch from Walden, swung on, missed, one and one. Six three, Cherryville leads, bottom of the fourth, looking to add more here. And the winner take all, game seven, area four finals. Cherryville looking for its sixth straight area four championship. Ground ball to second, and he boots it. He just let it scoot right out of the glove. How did he? Not make that play. You they need some stick them in their gloves, Milton. I mean, these I balls really. just bouncing out of their gloves like they've never been broke in. It's an E four. I, I never. I mean, I think it, you know if you want to, you know, make excuses. He was thinking double play and took his eye off the ball. I guess. Well, oh, it hit his glove and it just the, went. That's the forty first error in the in the in the, in the series. Yeah, There's no every, everybody's right now. <laughs> everybody's thinking ahead, aren't they? I think they're nervous. They're on the whatsappshopper.com that's video. It's, it's the it's the videos yeah. doing it. Here's my set of bases loaded, one out. And the pitch, check swing. Did he go? Yes, strike one on my stellar. I'm sure someone will try to blame us. <laughs> Here or there, we'll get the, blamed for something. Well, our camera lights aren't in their eyes. These cameras don't have big lights. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have any lights. <laughs> no. And the swing and a miss by the Blue Miss, 0-2 oh on my stellar. Kaiser's at third, Bess at second. I don't think Blake's at first. seen a pitch he don't think he can hit. <laughs> he is a free swinger. He's one for two on the night. And here's the pitch down low. One ball, two strikes on Mosteller. Good eye there from Mosteller. Mosteller, a single and a run scored in the first. Kinda Strike like, out in the second. Kind of like Vladimir Guerrero. He'll swing at anything, and, and uh, when he does hit it, he knocks it pretty well. Curveball inside. It'll be strike three called on on the blue mist, and that's going to bring up the next. I'll bring up Seth Weekly. Weekly, the pitcher, big chance for Weekly here to help his cause. Weekly's reached on an air and scored, singled and scored on the night, one for two officially, with two runs scored. He is bases loaded and two out, and a pitch in the dirt. Good block up there by the catcher, Horn, and it's one ball and no strikes on Weekly. Weekly, when he's not been pitching, he's been DHing a lot. He's been a good DH. All he has to do is kind of think, well, I'm DHing for myself tonight. <laughs> Catcher goes out to the mound, Horn and Walden. Coach Reynolds is going to have a little talk with uh, Weekly. I guess the catcher went out there to wipe his cleats off. Yeah. <laughs> so, pardon the expression, I used it the other night, and I'll say it again, ducks on Walden Pond. Mm-hmm. Logan Walden, the right-handed pitcher, facing weekly. His counterpart here tonight. The 1-0 pitch is low, 2-0. I know I saw Walden pitch because it was down at South Point. 
saw how the umpire ran out there with the catcher that time uh, to make sure they hurried up and didn't talk. I don't know what he's making sure of what they didn't talk about, but. And the pitch is ball three. When I used to catch, I always liked to run out to the, when, I, when I'd go out to the pitcher mill, and if the umpire followed me immediately, first thing I always said was how much he stunk back there, just, <laughs> just to see if he was, if he wanted to listen. He walked out here for something, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's right. He wanted to hear what you had to say. Three and one on weekly. Say, so, well, you came out here. Yeah. We was talking about you. If you didn't want you. me to hear you talk about you, then you shouldn't have uh, followed me. <laughs> Good way of looking at it. I understand him telling him to hurry up. There's no reason to go out there and listen to you. 3-1 pitch is ball four. Weekly get an RBI. Bases loaded walk here in the fourth. It's 7-3 to three, Cherryville. Kaiser will score a run for the second time tonight. Down to third will go Bass over to second beam. Weekly aboard. And it brings up Chandler Jenkins. Jenkins a two-run double in the first and a walk in the third. So Cherryville brings a run in here in the fourth with two out at seven to three. Cherryville beat this pitcher at South Point. Eight to three was the final in that game. And Jenkins launches one to center field. Centerville got a late jump on it, but catches up. That's Dustin Wiles out there for the put out. And that'll do it. Cherryville gets a run in the inning on one hit. There was one error and three left on. We go to the fourth. It is seven to three, Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Score. Cherryville Federal Bank makes switching a snap. Every bank has a switch kit, but ours has a name and a face, a real person ready to walk you through all the details. Automatic drafts, direct deposit, tracking down numbers and details completing the process. We do everything we can to make switching a snap. So the sooner you get started, the better. Cherryville Federal Bank. It's just better here. Member FDIC. Your home medical equipment is found at the drugstore with three convenient locations in Lincoln, Boger City, and in Vail. At the drugstore, you are treated like family. They are locally owned and operated and catering to the needs of people like you. So if you're in the market for home medical equipment, visit your nearest drugstore location in the Town & Country Shopping Center in Lincoln, the Carolina Shopping Center in Boger City, and in Honey Shopping Center, located on Highway 10 in Vail. We come we back come here back. as we go to the we fifth inning, 7-3, post 100 on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard. And uh, Dylan Hastings to the mound, Milton. Hastings is out there indeed. Hastings Sam in Travis the fifth. third. Uh, Moss Teller is out of the game. Let's see. Now, Weekly's gone to first. Right. I guess the Chandler Jenkins. Travis starts. Jenkins is in left field. Yep, yep. Lefty out there in left field. That'd so Mosteller came out. So mm -hmm. Sam Travis came in for Mosteller. All right, let's write him in our at. book. Uh, Travis for Mosteller in the lineup. And then Jenkins moved from first to left. Hastings third to first. Sam Travis, of course, at third base. And at first base, weekly moved from the pitcher. To first base. There you go. There you go. All the changes for you. And the batter up, Spencer Wiles here against Dylan Hastings. Hastings ready in the pitch, and therefore strike to Wiles. And a 0-1 pitch, a bunt, third base side. It's going to be Travis. Throw to first. Got him. What a stretch by Weekly coming off the mound. Good play by Travis. All around great play by Cherville Post 100. And you can see the runner there for uh, the Braves had some words there for the umpire at first base. Maybe he didn't quite agree. And look at him. He's yelling at him right now. Mm -hmm. You guys can see him on the screen. He just yelled, come on at the umpire. Well, what a play for Travis, fresh out of the dugout to make that to make that play. Brings up the big guy Logan Armstrong, hit by pitches last time up. It's ball one from Hastings. 
Armstrong had a sack flying an RBI in the first inning. And the pitch here is a strike, one and one on Logan Armstrong. Dylan Hastings was the winner at Sound Point in game uh, four of the series against Walden, the 8-3 Cherryville victory. And the pitch fouled off by Armstrong, one and two. Top of the fifth here, Cherryville up seven to three. And Coach Reynolds calls on Dylan Hastings. Here's the pitch. And it's close, but no call. Two and two on Armstrong. Crowd really getting vocal out there. We got the windows closed up here in the press box. We can still hear them. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Ball, strike three called on Big Poppy. Two up, two down. Brings up the Braves pitcher, Logan Walden. Left-handed batter. Uh, Walden struck out in the first inning. Uh, RBI on a sack fly in the third. Two out, nobody on here, top of the fifth for the Braves. And there's a ball. A ball, no strike on Walden. And the next pitch, ripped first base, fair ball. Yep. Down the line, down the right field line, two out single for Walden. Great job by Beam getting over and cutting that ball off, keeping him to a single there, Milton, because that was ball was hit a yeah. ton down the first baseline. Yeah, it came out of there like a rocket. And it brings up Justin Williams, a fly out, and he's reached on an error tonight. That error in the third brought in a run. And here's the pitch from Hastings. High ball one to Williams. So, Dylan Hastings with two out and a runner at first here in the top of the fifth. And here's a pop-up. First base side foul territory weakly squeezes it. That ball had a little spin on it, but he did the right. He caught it with two hands out there. And that will take care of the Braves here in the fifth. No runs on one hit, no errors, one left. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still 7-3 Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Scoreboard. Today's game has been brought to you by R&M Motors Tire and Auto Center and Pawn Shop of Cherryville. R&M does all types of major and minor repairs, including custom exhaust and inspections. Plus, they sell cars, trucks, and custom and stock golf carts, plus four-wheelers, dirt bikes, and more. In the pawn shop, you'll find guns, gold and silver, and everything in between. And they buy and trade at R&M Motors Tire and Auto Center and Pawn Shop, both located on the Dallas Cherryville Highway. Dr. Paul H. Kloniger takes this time to invite you to Paul H. Kloniger Dentistry in Cherryville and Cherryville Dental Clinic. You'll find a state-of-the-art facility with excellent dental care from their competent and caring staff, offering a wide array of preventive, cosmetic, and restorative procedures, and they strive to improve your dental health and a higher quality of life. Dr. Paul H. Kloniger Dentistry, 1015 East Church Street in Cherryville and Cherryville Dental Clinic, 106 North Mountain Street in Cherryville. Visit the website at clonagerdentistry.com. Go back to Fraley Field and the bottom of the fifth, 7-3 to three, Cherryville, Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard. We're listening to the B-Square Construction Post 100 broadcast on WCSL and whatsupshopper.com. And Dylan Hastings will lead off. Dylan tonight is 0 for 2. Rough at bat his last time. He struck out on a bunt attempt with two strikes on him, a foul ball. It was ruled, of course, a strikeout. Here's ball one. Hastings Huff and Stamey. Uh, Logan Walden's pitch. A strike. One ball, one strike. The count. Trevor's led the whole way. The Braves got within two. At five to three after the top of the third. The terrible sense uh, tacked on a couple more runs to lead by four. One two pitch coming up outside. Two balls and two strikes on Dylan Hastings. And the two two pitch is ball three. Th 
three and two the count. And the pitch from Walden is popped up high in the night sky. Shortstop Perry makes the put out behind third base. So one up, one down, and bring, it'll be Huff. Huff walked in the first, and an RBI on a sack fly in the third. How many innings does Dylan have tonight? How many did he go? The well, it's 12 and 72 hours, and he pitched Tuesday. It's Friday, so. Tuesday? You sure he pitched Tuesday? Mm -hmm. He pitched Wednesday, didn't he? It was mm -hmm. game five. I thought it was game four no. down at South Point. Oh. Yeah. It was four? It was at South Point, yeah. And so I well, guess he's, he's, got, tonight, he's, got, yeah. he's got all he's got all twelve of I was thinking he pitched in game five. Yeah. No, I'm pretty sure it was game four Tuesday night at South Point. I'll look back on my scorebook at the date here. But I know it was at South Point and it had to have been four. It's one ball. Now it's two balls, one strike on Huff. I couldn't find that page a while ago. I was looking for it too hard. And I couldn't find it. Let's see. Hastings pitched on the twenty fourth. At South Point, I wrote in my book. So Game uh, four. That was game four, yeah. Tuesday night. 2-2 two -two pitch, fouled back by Huff. Brad Huff, 0 for 0 officially tonight with the walk and the sack fly. You can see Got him an RBI. On the foul balls back to the screen, you can see the net moving, moving our camera a, a cool, little bit. That is a cool <laughs> shot. That is a cool shot right there. And here's the pitch low, three and two. I like the way the stadium lights sort of just mm -hmm. glow there. It's pretty cool. And the three-two pitch, swung on a miss, strike three. Two down for Spencer Stamey. Bottom of the fifth, Post 100 leads seven to three. Over the Gaston Braves here in game seven, winner will face Apex next Wednesday at 4.30. In Granite Falls, North Carolina. Pitch is low. On the way to Boone. They're on 321, right above Hickory. Just hop on 321, however you, wherever you want to get on at. And, and we'll be there. Didn't take very long. 1-0 pitch. If you want to go, whether a lot of folks will go for the state tournament just because it's so close. Mm -hmm. Even if uh, Cherville loses this lead. In the game, the, a lot of folks from Cherville will still go up there to watch some baseball, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They'll go to Shelby for the World Series, I guarantee you, mm -hmm. if Cherville's not there. Here's a ground ball to short by Stamey. The throw across in time, 6-3 to put out, and Cherville goes three up, three down, bottom of the fifth. And we move along on the Miss Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard. It's still 7-3 to three. Cherryville. It's B-Square Construction Baseball. A lot of people are switching to natural gas lately because natural gas appliances cost a lot less to operate than those using propane or electricity. In fact, a typical family could save up to $1,000 a year just by switching from propane to natural gas. But that's not all. To learn more about natural gas and to find out how much money you could save by switching, visit psncenergy.com slash choose gas. That's psncenergy.com slash choose gas. Natural gas from PSNC Energy, making everyday life better. Nationwide Insurance offers low auto rates in your area. Now, I don't have to tell you about the great service you'll get with those low rates, but I just did. That's right. Put a mic in front of me and I just can't stop talking about Nationwide's low rates and great service. For auto, home, life, and business, call on Sandy Cunningham, Nationwide Insurance Agency, located at 1608 East Church Street in Cherryville. Nationwide is on your side. Nationwide Mutual Insurance Company and affiliated companies, Columbus, Ohio. Subject to underwriting guidelines, review and approval. Products and discounts not available to all persons in all states. And welcome back to Fraley Field, Friday Night Baseball, Game 7, Area 4 Finals, winner-take-all game. I don't know if we've mentioned that enough, Kevin, but uh, I can't stress it enough. I mean, this is it. Should this even is be it. in this position after getting up 3-1 to one on on this team, but this team was down 2-0 to Caldwell in a best of five and won that series. And uh, this is the comeback kids of Gaston County, the Gaston Braves. And tonight they're playing without their coach. Their head coach is not here. They're on the road in Game 7. 
They were down three, and now they find themselves down four runs here. And the batter up, Derek Perry, swing, on, swing and miss on the curveball from Hastings. Well, we do have a wizard ball, thanks to Hauser Drugs. Barry Havner today handed me a wizard ball. And uh, sure those guys are listening. Ground ball to short. stamey has got it. Throw in time to get Perry. 6-3 on the put out. One away for Aaron Biggerstaff. We haven't used a rub on the wizard ball. The official uh, home office calculated the number of rubs on the wizard ball this late in the season. It's only five. <laughs> only five rubs available. If it would get, if we'd had a wizard ball to start the season, we you know it's usually more. It's based on number of games and baseball players and their superstitions. Yada yada yada. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> Bigger staff, swing and a miss. I used to be the guy that walked out behind everyone and watched everyone jump over the foul line, and I'd go out there and kick the foul line. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the 0 1 pitch, strike call. And I swear that tradition only started because the grounds crew didn't want the people stepping on the lines, and they used to yell at them. And now yeah. everybody jumps over the line like it's bad luck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's error for us. That's the line. There's a strike three called on Bigger Staff on the 0 2 pitch. And Hastings, who came in relief starting the fifth, has struck out two and set down uh, five out of the six he's faced here. Brings up bottom of the order, Patrick Horn. Horn 0 for 2 on the night. The pitch. A ball. Remind me during the break to get something from Danny Aker I want to talk about. All right. 1-0 pitch, swing and a miss. I want to talk about the members of this post-100 team that are playing their last game here at Fraley Field, win or lose. Guys, that will be aging out. And here's a swing and a miss, one ball, two strikes. Some young men who've played a lot of fine baseball over mm -hmm. the years. 1-2 pitch is grounded to Stamey at short. He'll have to hurry. Throw. Got him. 6-3. Three. three up, three down in the sixth for the Braves. We move along. Bottom six coming up. And Cherryville still leading 7-3. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug scoreboard. Get it cranked. With a stop at field starter and alternator in Cherryville, they start all the winners. They do it all at field starter and alternator. From starters to alternators, generators, rebuilt and repaired. With two locations, 457 Paul H. Beam Road and 319 East Main Street, both in Cherryville. Yes, get it cranked and get it running with a visit to Field Starter and Alternator of Cherryville. And they lived happily ever after. Thanks, Mom. Good night, honey. Good night. This moment is brought to you by Bennett Insurance Group, your local Erie insurance agent. For affordable insurance coverage in Cherryville, call Rocky at Bennett Insurance Group at 704-435-0271 and see how you can save. Bennett Insurance Group and Erie Insurance. We've got you covered. It's our true blue promise. Oh. <laughs> oh, me. There we go. Now, folks, uh, before we get to playing here in the bottom of the six, I got that list from Danny. These are the guys who are playing their last uh, game here on Fraley Field, win or lose, because the rest of the season will move on to the state tournament and hopefully beyond. But uh, uh, playing in his fifth year, Dylan Hastings, fifth and final year, Thomas Bass, fifth and final year. Fourth and final years are Blake Mosteller, Sam Travis, Dustin Wilson, Seth Weekly, and Luke Kaiser. And playing his uh, third year, Ryan Kraft. Okay. According to the information there from Danny. So uh, good luck to these guys tonight and in the future as they say goodbye to Fraley Field here as a post-100 player. They age out and batter up is uh, Luke Kaiser. 
One ball and one strike. And the future looks bright for Post Hunter here, Milton. The B team went 22-2 and two this year before losing uh, in the two games before the bid for the state. Mm -hmm. Here's a little grounder back to the pitcher. His throw is wild, and Kaiser's going to go on to second. Kaiser might have beat a good throw anyway. Let's see how they score that. Yeah, it would Might be a hit close. and an error. We'll see what they do. It's a hit. I know nope. it's an error. It's an error all the way, they say. So E1. And Kaiser goes to second base. A good start for Cherryville in the bottom of the sixth, up seven to three. Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard and brings up Thomas Bess. That's the 42nd error of the series, folks. Yes, I said that right. 42nd combined error between these two teams. The Braves lead 22 to 20 in errors. <laughs> Yeah, and it's uh, tonight on the scoreboard, two errors for each Well, I guess squad. you would kind of do that as a, like a golf scoreboard, so the <laughs> post 100 leads 20 to 22. That's right. That's a, that's a stat you don't want to lead in. <laughs> oh, man. Ball one on Bass. Next pitch from Walden swung on and missed. Tell Josh you don't have time to deal with him. <laughs> he's got a race to do. I don't know why he's worried about it. <laughs> Dad's dad, Dad's announcing the games over there, for the scores. I mean, yeah, one one is the count on Bess and the pitch outside, two and one. Catcher goes out. Guys are down at second base. Nobody out here for Cherville. Bottom of the sixth. Cherville looking for its sixth straight Area Four title. That would break the Gastonia record. Of, or they're already tied with Gastonia back in the 50s, wasn't 60s. it? 60s. Mm -hmm. and, uh, that was back when they used to watch the games in black and white on the Internet. Absolutely. Strike called on Bess. Two balls, two strikes on Thomas Bess. Bess walked in the fourth inning. Left stranded at third. Bases loaded situation. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch again. It's a ball outside, three and two to Bess. Seven runs, six hits, Cherryville, two errors. Three runs, six hits, three errors for the Braves. That does say three, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. The pitch. Swing and a miss, and Bess goes down on strikes. I think it's safe to say Thomas likes hitting lefties better than he does righties, man, because right. the righties have had him off balance in this series. Yeah. And it brings up Josh Beam. Beam one for three on the night. Singled and scored in the first. Struck out in the second. Reached on an error in the fourth. Seven to three. Trevor leads the Gaston Braves. By no means is that a safe lead. Um, ball one with to the, Beam. With the way the Braves hit and post 100 plays defense, Milton, how many runs do you think that we would need before you feel safe? Um, how many will the board hold? 1-0 <laughs> uh, pitch is ball two to Beam. Sam Travis on deck. Luke Kaiser out of second base. Beam at the plate. Got a runner in scoring position, up 7-3, to three, looking for some more insurance. Here's the 2-0 pitch from Walden. And if they Ball need three. insurance that bad, Milton, they can always call Rocky Bennett. Why, yeah. Rocky's in the house. Yes, he is. He's in the press box. Three-zero count on beam, and Walden delivers. Ball four. So, two on with one out for Sam Travis hitting in the three spot, going in for Mosteller when Cherryville made a pitching change. And here comes the coach out for the Gaston Brace. Check with his starter, Logan Walden. Walden, the loser in game four to Cherryville, eight to three that night at South Point High School. Mm -hmm. And what a series it's been. What a series it has been. The Braves down. Three games to one. They won the last two to force this seventh game. It ain't over here by a long stretch. Seven to three, Cherryville leads. Good chance here to get some more runs in with Sam Travis up and one out. Kaiser at second. Beam at first. Sam Travis, right-handed hitter. 
out of Burns High School on his post 100 squad. His final game here at Fraley Field. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, he'd like to go out with a hit or a hit or two. Strike one to count from Walden. And the pitch is a strike, 0-2. Oh And the 0-2 pitch is a curveball outside, one and two. They're changing the eligibility rules in the future, right, for Legion Ball? Have you heard about that? No, I have I'll have to change them back that, to what they were. Well, I'll have to see when it starts, how it goes. But I know in the future, as there's a swing and a miss by Travis, the way I understand it, I hope I'm right, it's what, I, it's what I've heard, no college players anymore. Well, they uh, added that rule how many years ago? I don't know. Three, yeah, four been years a while. ago? Yeah, it's been Five a while. Five years ago, six years well, ago? Well, I know the year after uh, Ralph Roberts right. lost his eligibility, they, they came up, if they had changed it sooner, Ralph could have played another year. Here's a base hit to right field for Weekly. Here comes Kaiser home. He scores standing on the two-out single by Weekly. Weekly. Two hits on the night. He's two for three. And we're going to have a change, Milton. All right. That's going to be the night for Logan Walden. And with two outs, it's eight to three, Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug Scoreboard. We'll be back. Get your prescriptions to go from Medical Center Pharmacy in Cherryville. Yes, delivery is now available. Look for the Medical Center delivery van in your area. Just call 704-435-3263 for your prescriptions to go. You can even order online at mcpcherryville.com. Check out that new and improved website. And the grill is now under new management. Come on in for your favorite sandwiches. That's at the Medical Center Pharmacy, East Academy Street in Cherryville. On the go for you. Most of us will make or assist in making funeral arrangements of some kind in our lives. This can mean making many decisions at a very difficult and emotional time. At Carpenter's Funeral Home of Cherryville, their funeral directors, John Porter and Carol Carpenter, are there to offer help and guidance. Carpenter's Funeral Home promotes the highest ethical and professional standards while maintaining cost-effective service, even winning the Pursuit of Excellence Award. Carpenter's Funeral Home, 1100 East Main Street in Cherryville, a member of the North Carolina Funeral Directors Association. Thinking about remodeling your home? Or maybe you're even thinking about building a new home? Or maybe a new building out back? Either way, call on the building experts at B Squared Construction. Get your project started today. From decks to roofing to kitchen and bath to siding to gutters. Also window and door replacement. With over 40 years of combined experience, B Squared Construction. Call Brad Beatonhead at 704-201-4453 or Banjo Strap at 704-713-8296 to get your project started today. Warming up for the Gaston Braves in relief of Walden is Nate Buchanan. Buchanan, the starter last Saturday night, game one, Cherville. Beat the left-hander in game one here at uh, Fraley Field on Saturday night. The um, I'm trying to find my book from that night. Final score, 10-3. to three. Buchanan on the mound. We'll find out the other position changes for the Braves when they come to bat. I don't know who spot Buchanan went in. They were not using a DH. And the batter up is Chandler Jenkins, lefty on lefty matchup here, with two on and two out and a run in. He probably Strike just one. straight subbed for Walden. Uh, probably, Milton, probably did. Walden's been he hasn't been staying in the lineup no, much. You're, yeah, you're right. I don't know. I've seen him play a position other than pitcher. Yeah. And DH, so he he played first for a couple innings in one game. Did he? Oh one on Jenkins here, curve ball, first base side. Big man's got it. Three unassisted for out number three, but Cherryville gets a little insurance here in the sixth. One run, 
on one hit, one error, and two left. We go to the seventh inning, 8-3 Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, how's the drug scoreboard? You're listening to B-Square Construction Baseball on 1590 WCSL and whatsappshopper.com. Mr. Sparky, we're on time, you'll see. Mr. Sparky, all your repair is free. We all know the cute jingle of Mr. Sparky, but what about the promise behind the jingle? Well, here's Rusty Wise, owner of Mr. Sparky. We book appointments in customer chosen windows, and we show up in that time frame. The jingle says, we're on time, you'll see, or the repair is free. So if we are late for the appointment, your repair is totally free. That's right, and Mr. Sparky will show up at your house on time, and you won't pay a cent until you're satisfied. When we show up on the job, we'll take a look at what needs to get done, and we'll give you an upfront price. And that will be the exact price when we are finished. No matter if it takes three hours or three days, the price is the price. Mr. Sparky, on time, quality work, integrity, and a fair price. Mr. Sparky. We're on time, you'll see, Mr. Sparky, or your repair is free. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Thank you, Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Mr. Sparky, Division of Wise Electric, Cherryville, long time. Scoreboard sponsor here on the broadcast as we move into the Internet age. And whatsupshopper.com. Our sponsors getting radio ads as well as ads with pictures now. It's strike one on Dustin Wiles. Dylan Hastings, next pitch swung on a miss. 0 oh 2 to Wiles. Top of the seventh, 8 to 3, Cherryville. And swing and a miss by Wiles. He struck him out. Wiles, tough little out there sometimes. And Hastings takes care of him on three pitches. Jarky Hopkins, batter up. Hopkins, one out of two tonight, along with a sacrifice bunt. Shows bunt here, pulls it back, ball one high. One and oh, the count to Hopkins. Hopkins singled in the third and scored. The pitch, strike, caught the corner, one and one. The pitch, curveball, low, I guess, two and one. And the uh, two one pitch, swung on a missed. Hopkins can't catch up with a fastball. Gaston Braves down by five runs here. And the pitch. Curveball for strike three, and Hopkins knew it. He knew it. And two up, two down. Fourth strikeout for Hastings since starting on the mound in the fifth. And the batter is Spencer Wiles. Wiles, two singles and a ground out tonight off the starter weekly. Curveball there for a strike. Hastings set them down in order in the six. Try to uh -oh. do that here. Yeah, it's a foul. foul ball, but it had some distance to it down the left side. As oh, a Wilkins. <laughs> pretty close. Pretty close. <laughs> you can see the ball in the video landed in the street, Milton, on the other side of the stoplight yeah. and bounced up the street. So good well, that, grief, yeah. that was a shot. We'll give him a Wilkins on that. 0-2 <laughs> oh, to Wiles, and the pitch swung on a miss. Struck him out. Strikes out the side in the seventh. Three up, three down. We go bottom of the seventh. 8-3 Cherryville. Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Score. Hauser Drug Store on the corner in downtown Cherryville has been Cherryville's hometown pharmacy since 1935, and they know you by name. For durable medical equipment such as wheelchairs, oxygen, walkers, CPAPs and BiPAPs, lift chairs, and diabetic supplies too, like strips and lancets, Hauser Drug builds Medicare and most all private insurances. And does your pharmacy make home deliveries? Hauser Drug in Cherryville does. It's service after the sale. Good luck to Post 100 Baseball from Hauser Drug.
Deja Vu in downtown Cherryville specializes in men's, women's, and children's clothing. Deja Vu has an extensive line of formal wear with name brand jewelry and purses. And Deja Vu is now accepting new consigners. Come on in now and see Emily or Alice for all of your clothing and accessory needs. They're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 to 5, Saturdays, 10 to 3. Deja Vu, 118 East Main Street in downtown Cherryville. Find them on Facebook or call 704-445-9333 for Deja Vu in downtown Cherryville. Carolina Care Center strives to provide quality care and promote an excellent quality of life. They now offer Carolina Care Cottages. All Carolina Care services are now available to cottage residents on an outpatient basis. Cottage residents have priority to beds if need at Carolina Care Center. The two-bedroom cottages are fully equipped. Reserve your new home today by calling 704-435-4161. Carolina Care, offering a standard of excellence. Let their family take care of your family today at Carolina Care Center. Just like Cherryville Post 100 plays their best, you want to look your best with a stop at Trudy's Classic Cuts at 800 West Church Street in Cherryville. From cuts to coloring, from perms to waxing, plus other treatments that'll make you look your best. And good luck to Cherryville Post 100 from Trudy's Classic Cuts. Located at 800 West Church Street in Cherryville. For your appointment, call Trudy today at 704-445-1333 for Trudy's Classic Cuts. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant in Cherryville. It's better than good. It's great. And check out Taco Loco Monday. Tacos only $1 each and every Monday at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant. The El Patron is open Sunday through Thursday, 11 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. and Friday and Saturdays, 11 a.m. till 10 p.m. For orders to go, call 704-435-4546. Catch the craving at the El Patron Mexican Restaurant, 910 East Church Street in Cherryville. Dylan Hastings will lead off the bottom of the seventh for Cherryville. Against the lefty Buchanan, first pitch swung on and missed. All right, Strike folks, one. it's time to play Celebrity Fan of the Game. So if you know who this fan is, Milton, do you know him? No. Get, no. Guys, get a good look. Ground ball, foul ball to the right side. It's our Celebrity Fan of the Game. First person to enter on our Facebook and with, the, with their Facebook and Twitter account on our social stream right under the video on whatsupshopper.com. There's a big green button. Check in and chat. First person to know this this fan of the game will win a free What's Up Shopper t-shirt. Swing and a miss for Hastings, and that'll do it. Yep. First out of the inning, and that's going to bring up the next batter. Hastings had a rough night of the plate. Yes, he has. He struck out three times, but he's doing the job right now on the mound since coming out in the fifth to start that inning. And the batter up is Huff. It goes right up the middle. And almost caught the pitcher on the <laughs> backside. <laughs> yeah, he kind of had to do a little salsa dance to get out of the way of Woo. it. Couldn't get a glove on it, so he got out of the way of it. Fan yeah. of the game, though, folks, just sign in right under the video. Click on the social stream tab. There'll be a big green button. Just click on that, and with your Facebook or Twitter account, sign in and register to win. And the first person to get it right will be our winner. All right, batter up. Spencer Stamey, one out, one on for Cherryville. Bottom of the seventh, up eight to three. First pitch, ball one. So Stamey, 0 for three on the night. Cherryville looking to add on some more runs. No lead safe in Legion ball, we always say. And Stamey swinging a miss, one and one. Spencer Stamey. And if nobody gets it right, Milton, here in, the, in this, uh, this half of the inning, we'll pick a different fan and try again. The 1-1 one, one pitch, a strike called, 1-2 on the outside corner. 8-3, to three. post 100 leads, runner on first. Buchanan, the lefty, coming in for Walden last inning. And curveball stays outside, 2-2. Two and two. Two balls, two strikes, one out, one on, and the pitch, three and two. Ball outside by Buchanan. Cherville 
faced Buchanan in game one of the series back last Saturday night. Trevor won that game 10 to 3. The pitch, 3 2 pitch, struck him out. And with first base occupied, he can't go to first. It's only drop strike three, so it's two away. Strike two strikeouts this inning, along with the base hit by Huff. And that brings up Luke Kaiser. Kaiser's been on three times, scored three times. He has a double, a single, and has reached on an error. Folks are play a celebrity fan of the game. Don't forget. And Kaiser drills one to left center, left fielder. Did he get the no? It gets by him. He's down. Getting up slowly. Run coming home is Huff. There'll be no throw. Kaiser clapping his hands vehemently, celebrating at second base with his second double on the night and his first RBI. Kaiser really coming on strong. Huff comes all the way around from first to score. It's 9-3 to three, Cherryville. Mr. Sparky, Hauser Drug scoreboard. And it'll be Thomas Bass here with two outs. Cherryville is doing a lot tonight with two outs. Runners on second base. Thomas Bass up to bat. And a slow curve ball outside. One ball, no strikes to Bass. Bass 0 for 3 with a walk tonight. For, that's our local celebrity of the, of the game, folks. Uh, Register to win right below. Freddie, you can go ahead and get back to baseball. All right, Bass down the right field line. Ooh. Air ball. And maybe this three. This could be three. Yes, Bass turning it on. Outfielder just now picking the ball up. Bass is rounding second. A easy triple for Thomas Bass down the right field line. Hard hit ball down the right field line just inside the line. And with Thomas Best's speed, a stand-up triple as he gets by the right fielder. And now Post 100 has, leads 10-3 to here in Game 7 of the Area 4 Finals. And with two out, they brought two runs in. Brings up Josh Beam, who walked his last time up. Beam one for three officially tonight. And check swing couldn't hold up. Strike one on the lefty. Lefty-lefty matchup. This was the first batter Buchanan faced in the sixth inning. Uh, was Beam. I don't think I'm right about that. I think I'm wrong because see, I got here that Beam walked and I thought he struck him out. What did you just say about walking? Uh, I said Beam walked his last time, but oh. I thought he struck out against uh, Buchanan. I thought he was the first batter Buchanan faced, but I guess that was somebody else. Must have been Travis to end the inning. One and two now on Beam. And the pitch called strike three, and that's out three here in the seventh. Cheryl tacks on two more runs in the inning on three hits, no errors, and one runner left. And we have played seven. It's 10-3 on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug Scoreboard. Paper post 100. This is B-Square Construction Baseball. Dream big, pay little with the hottest deals of the season on the grasshopper mower you've always wanted during the Summer Sizzler Sale at West End Sales in Vail. Discover how fast and easy mowing can be with the grasshopper's time-saving performance and legendary durability. Select a $500 package like the Power Fold Deck or Collection System or Implement or choose a no-interest financing deal with approved credit. It's your choice. Visit West End Sales, Highway 18, 27 Intersection in Vail. Friends, let's stop spending our weekends driving back and forth from some home improvement warehouse. Let's make one trip to Ace, get help quickly from people who know their stuff, and do it all before our second cup of coffee. Get your weekend back. Ace can help you quickly turn your to-do list into a to-done list. To help out with your weekend projects, see Ferguson's Ace Hardware. Ferguson's Ace Hardware on Highway 150 East in Cherryville, helping you out with your weekend project. Ace, the helpful place. All right, we go to the uh, top of the eighth here for the Braves. They're running out of outs, down by seven runs on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard. And Logan Armstrong, the first baseman, the batter up, he's sacrificed fly tonight. He's been hit by pitch, and he struck out officially, officially 0 for 1. First pitch from Hastings 
Strike one. Seth Weekly started and went four complete. Really, and here's uh, Armstrong with a ground ball to the short, short stop. Stamey throw in time. Stamey sort of slipped out there. That grass a little bit slippery from the rain earlier today. But he gets to put out 6-3. He came very close to look like falling down. So Armstrong out 6-3 to three, brings up Logan Walden. Seeing when that ball was hit, I seen uh, Weekly did very well through four innings. And uh, Coach Reynolds brought out Hastings to pitch starting the fifth. And uh, so far, so good. Very good. There's a base hit for Logan Walden to center field. This guy can be a hitting machine, and he's back to back singles off of Hastings. He's the only one to reach base against Dillon since he came in in the fifth. He's two for two off Hastings, two for three on the night. And it brings up Justin Williams. So one out, one on. Here's the pitch to Williams, fouled off. That took the umpire, David Brown's mask off there. That foul ball. So Brown appears to be okay. Go ahead. Just a few sarcastic cheers from the umpire getting this thing oh, knocked off. I'll tell you what, I've seen uh, seen that exact thing happen before to an umpire here, and it almost knocked him out. He went down on one knee for a while. That was several years ago. Different umpire. O one one pitch is a ball, one ball, one strike. Catcher and umpires. Home plate umpire. That's a dangerous place to be sometimes. Two and one on Williams. David Brown behind the plate. Seth Keever and Phil Beam on the bases. 2-1 from Hastings to Williams. Check swing. Did he go? Foul tip. That one caught Kaiser. That foul tip shakes up Luke Kaiser a little bit. 2-2 mm. two, two count. And we got that uh, video of them on the on the red van. Yeah, uh, they have yet to figure out how to email me the actual <laughs> file. I just thinking about Kaiser. I'd like to show it to you guys during the broadcast, but uh, the players uh, having trouble figuring out email. Curveball for strike three. Ooh, maybe we can get it here eventually. It's on Tyler Shoemaker's phone. I know that he's the one that uploaded it to YouTube. Chandler sent me, an, I sent Chandler Jenkins an email. He said he'd have Tyler send it. That was four or five days ago. So <laughs> I'll have to send a Chandler another message on Twitter. Yeah, they've had some stuff to do lately. Maybe they have a few days now they can work on that for, if now, Cheryl goes to the state tournament. Now, the other tournament. day, uh, Chandler was uh, tweeting last week, a uh, Saturday or Sunday, that he was, uh, when he woke up early one morning, he was playing uh, his PlayStation and re-watching the game. All right, swing and a miss, one and one on Derek Perry. Two out, runner still at first base. That's Walden with the singles. So um, the Braves in the top of the eighth, down to Cherville. Here's a pop-up out of play behind the net on the first base side. Still one and two, or it goes one and two on Perry. They're about to pull the half and half here, Milton. Oh. And, uh, preacher right. Vince Hevner uh, just asked him if they would ask the guy pulling the numbers if he was to make any deals before. Or he pulls a number. <laughs> I bet it's a good jackpot tonight. Somebody said, that's the preacher that just offered that. <laughs> One, two, pitch. Curve on ground ball, third base. Travis will go to first and got him. Five, three, put out on Perry for out number three. Three so, outs away. No runs, one hit, no errors, and one left. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Post 100 up 10 to three. Mr. Sparky Hauser, the scoreboard. Hi, I'm Sherry Hefner, the pastor's wife at the First Baptist Church of Cherryville. Proverbs 22.6 says, Teach your children the way they should go, and when they grow up, they will not depart from it. As a mother of four teens and young adult children, I can attest to the many challenges of Christian parenting in these modern times. That is why this scripture is such a comfort to me. I can rest assured knowing that regardless of the choices my children may make in life, they can never get away from the godly upbringing that my husband and I have provided for them. Are you laying a godly foundation for your children? This is Sherry Hefner of First Baptist Cherryville, where we strive to accomplish all things through Christ.
Buy one, get a second and half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27 West of Lincoln. Ask about their buy one, get one half price specials. On Mondays, it's a poor boy basket. Tuesdays, a cheeseburger basket. Wednesdays, a barbecue basket. Thursdays, a chicken filet basket. And on Fridays, it's a big old fish basket. Buy one, get one half price at the Home Place Restaurant, Highway 27, two miles west of Lincoln. And be sure to use their convenient drive through window. something else before I turn my mic on there. Welcome right. back to the broadcast, Milton. We've got a new celebrity. Okay. New celebrity out there, out on the van. Wave, celebrity. Wave, celebrity. Got a celebrity. You are the fan of the game out there. <laughs> out on top of the Winnebago. You might as well wave. It's too late. You're the celebrity of the game, folks. If you know that guy, just uh, <laughs> sign in under the video player uh, with your Twitter or Facebook account and uh, guess who it is, and we'll uh, give you a free T-shirt. We did our last uh, celebrity Nobody knew, but somebody with a cell phone and couldn't tweet. Pop up to the catcher. Yep, pop up by Sam Travis, and it's caught for out number one. It was an 0-1 pitch to Travis. Pop up to catcher Horn. One away, and it's going to bring up Seth Weekly. Yep, that's our uh, now new fan celebrity of the game, if you guys know him, with your Twitter and Facebook accounts. Sign on the social stream right below the video player. Click the oh. check in and chat and guess. And uh, we got something going on here. Well, don't Cameron we? High, pitch hitting. Okay. Pitch hitting, Cameron, Cameron High. High. He'll go in and play third in the ninth. And first pitch pop foul out of play. So High batting here. And uh, I think Cameron, did a, Cameron High did a really good job the other night. Even though Trevor lost the ball game, he, he showed some good stuff out there. Yes, he did. Stepping up Pitching. big time. Yeah. And the 0-1 pitch here from Buchanan is a ball, one ball, one strike on high. Once again, folks, if you know who that local celebrity fan of the game is, just uh, <laughs> sign in with your Twitter and Facebook, and uh, and you, we'll give you, we'll call you out, say you're the winner, you'll win a free T-shirt. Post 100 leads, 10 to three, and the top of the eighth inning. Our local fan looks like he's got some things to say out there. But uh, <laughs> all right, Fred, you can uh, get back to the baseball game for now. 2-1 pitch is low 3-1 and one on high. Do we want to tell who the other gentleman was that nobody guessed? Yes, go ahead. Uh, I was told by a little bird that it was Danny Gant. So, Danny, if any of your family's listening, they, didn't they, know weren't, you. they weren't watching. <laughs> they weren't watching. They were listening only, I guess. So, that's who we were told. Uh, it was. Yeah. 3 and 2 goes to count on high. And it's ball four, Cameron High, a one-out walk here in the bottom of the eight. Cherville up 10-3. to three. And the uh, – Let's bring up number 19. 19 is is uh, Kraft, Ryan mm-hmm. Kraft, sore back and all. Ryan Kraft, maybe he's feeling better. Kraft going to get a chance to play in his last game here at Fraley Field. Right, uh, eight players on post 100. Mm-hmm. It's their last game ever. Fraley, Fraley Field. Field. So Ryan, Ryan with one out and one on. He's been injured with that sore back, not playing a whole lot in this series. Spencer Stamey stepping up, filling in at shortstop. Ryan Kraft, right-handed hitter up. And he'll face the lefty Buchanan. And the pitch is high, brought down by the catcher from the way up in the Air there. One ball, no strikes on Ryan Kraft. And the pitch. It's a hot shot off the third baseman's glove. And that should be a hit for Kraft. That's a hit all the way, they say, up here. Way to go, Ryan, on your last at bat probably here at Fraley Field. Was a shot? And that will... Is that the score right, Milton? The score ten to three. No, they got twelve to three. Well, now it's ten to three. Where, 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 I must have seen it. Must have, must have had a blur on the screen. All right, folks, going to have a uh, pit coach going to come out. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be back in a few seconds on What's Up Shopper Sports Network. 
Bruce isn't sure why he's out here, but this happens every time Aunt Betty and her allergies come to town, doesn't it, Bruce? But now, Train can help downtrodden animals like Bruce. A Train Clean Effect system removes up to 99.98% of the allergens from all the air that it heats or cools, so your owners will never choose Aunt Betty over you again. Let's go find your family a Train dealer. Call Roland Black Heating and Cooling, 704-865-1375. It's hard to stop a train. Hastings in the uh, bottom of the eighth here with two on and one out. Hastings pitch inside. Hastings 0 for 4 on the night. Kraft, that last uh, batter for Cherry, will hit that hot shot that the third baseman couldn't come up with. That's the new third baseman. He was the starting pitcher, Logan Walden, when he over that third. Crowd reacting to Sonny Jackson winning the half and half, Milton. Yep, here's ground ball third, but it's fouled by Hastings. One ball, one strike on Dylan Hastings. Cherryville got out. Uh, well, they were behind one nothing. bottom of the first. They got four runs in the bottom of the first. Closest it ever got along the way was 5-3. to three. Yeah. Cherryville pulling away with uh, a run in the sixth and two more in the seventh to make it 10-3. to three. And Hastings fouled off. It's one and two. Well, Milton, the last time Jackson was here, he was the third base umpire when we had four umpires. Yeah. And Jackson decided to take, I guess, I don't know if he took the night off or whatever, but he's he's not not helping. They only got three umpires tonight. And Jackson racked up big time on made, half and half. Say, he made a little be, more money. He did, he did better watching the game than he did working the game. One and two is the count on Hastings and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two down for Brett Huff. Not a good night for Hastings at all at the plate. Looking at the bottom of the, or the top of the ninth, excuse me, top of the ninth, the last chance for the Braves. They've got their eight, nine, and one spot stew up, and the batter here is Brett Huff. The pitch to Huff, high. Huff, last time up, singled up the middle, later scored in the seventh inning. Huff has walked. He has a sack fly, a strikeout, and a single, so one for two officially. And it's low, two balls, and no strikes to Brett Huff. Huff had the second most RBIs in area four during the regular season. Gets an RBI tonight on that sack fly back in the third. And it's 3-0 and here on Brett Huff. Brett might be starting to come out of his hitting woes here. Let's see what he can do here, 3-0 pitch. They turn him loose. And it's high anyway, ball four. So base is loaded. Down to third goes High, who walked. Down to second goes Kraft, who a moment ago singled. Now we're going to have a pitch change, Milton. The coach is back out, so we're going to take another the pitcher's break. pitcher's coming out of the dugout. We'll see who it is. Number 19. We'll be, okay. We'll be, we'll be right back. <laughs> Take time out from your busy, hectic life and have some fun, lots of fun, at Exhilaration Station in Cherryville. Exhilaration Station has something every family member would enjoy. Batting cages, mini golf, games for every age. Why, Exhilaration Station can even help you with that next great birthday party. Open seven days a week. Behind the old Harris Teeter in Cherryville, call 704-435-0670. Remember, take time out and have some good old-fashioned fun at Exhilaration Station. There you go, Ann. Your new account is now open. Just one more little thing. Here's your card. What was that? It's my new bank. Every time I turn around, I get hit with another fee. You need to get an account at Carolina Federal Credit Union. She's right. Tired of getting hit by bank fees? Switch to Carolina Federal Credit Union today. Make those pains go away. Here's your receipt. The uh, new pitcher for the Gaston Braceby, left-hander Brandon Bates, the winner in game two and game five in this series against Cherryville. And we're going to have a pinch hitter here for Cherryville, number six, Dustin Wilson. Wilson going to hit for Stamey in that spot, Dustin Wilson. So Wilson bats here in the bottom of the uh, eighth. And the base is loaded with two out. 
And here's a base hit and maybe uh, extra bases. Wilson if, goes to that gap and right Huff center. scores, it's ball game, Milton. Here comes, Huff scores. Here comes high. Huff scores. And here comes, or excuse me, uh, Huff game. scores and Huff scores. That's it in the bottom of the eighth. One pitch from Bates. Dustin Wilson wins it for Cherryville. That's the Area 4 championship for the sixth year in a row for post 100. Dustin Wilson with a pinch hit, base clearing double off the ace of the staff of the Gaston Braves. Three ribbies, 13 wow. to three, the final on the 10 run <laughs> rule here in game seven. Cherryville post 100 has knocked off the comeback kids, the Gaston Braves who showed a lot of heart in this series, but just uh, too much post 100 hitting and pitching here tonight at Fraley Field as Seth Weekly did an outstanding job the first four innings and Hastings comes in to take care of business uh, from the fifth through the uh, uh, eighth inning. So uh, final score, 13-3 to three on the Mr. Sparky Hauser Drug scoreboard in eight innings. Cherryville wins. You heard it right here on the V-Square Construction Post 100 broadcast. Folks, stick around for the post-game show. We're going to have some trophies. We're going to try to get what we can of that. If we can get a mic stuck somewhere out the window or something, if we got something we can do, we're going to try to get those post-game uh, trophy awards here uh, in our post-game show. So stick around. We'll also have the MVP of the game for Cherryville and um, our College Building Supplies post-game show coming up. We'll be right back. It's time to gear up to mow the grass, prune the trees, and trim the weeds. To help with your outdoor projects, Husqvarna has everything you need. This means you can save time on the job, get the job done right, and enjoy the results of your hard work. Stop by Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center on the Reachville Road in Lincoln and see the full line of Husqvarna products. Husqvarna can help you with all of your lawn and landscape needs. Carolina Hardware Garden and Pool Center in Lincoln, Husqvarna. Tame in the wild. We're going to come right back here. We'll probably take another commercial break in a few minutes to figure up, fill, final, uh, finalize our stats. But Area 4 Commissioner Bill Murray is giving the runner-up trophy to the Gaston Braves, who, due to this year, the state championship being in Area 4, Caldwell County's automatically in as the host team. Normal, normally, uh, the Braves would still be going to the state tournament, but this year they are not. Only the winners of the Area 4 finals, and that's Cherryville Post 100 for the sixth record, sixth year. Got the camera on the guys down on the field, and um, we are going to be able to get uh, video of that. There is no audio really to get. Kevin, they didn't take the yeah. wireless mic on the field, but there you see Coach Reynolds and uh, team being awarded the Area 4 championship trophy. There it is. The guys gathering around, the Blue Mist holding it high in the air there. All the guys getting their hands on that trophy. Congratulations. Six straight, and I want to congratulate the Gaston Braves folks. What a series that they that they came through. Uh, they were down 2-0 to Caldwell, won th ended up winning 3-2 to two in, that, in that series. As Cherville celebrates on the field, they're their sixth in a row history-making team here. And now we'll go to the state playoffs, and they'll play next Wednesday at 4.30 at Granite Falls, and as far as we know, we'll have coverage, Milton. We're going to have to call up there and clear it up, and I'm going to let you handle all that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So we're going to try to get up there, and uh, we're going to do our best to, to do the same coverage that we got now. It's going to be up to Caldwell, whether or not they want to allow the video, and uh, we would definitely have radio coverage, but we're going to have to talk to Caldwell and get that approved. Hopefully that will be. But once again, like I said, I want to congratulate the Gaston Braves. Uh, this is their not only – They've never won an Area 4, Milton. Not only have they never won one, they've never even been to a final. Yeah. And to take Cherville in their sixth straight final to a full seven games, what a valiant effort. They were down 3-1. to one. They came back, uh, took them to the seventh game, just didn't have enough tonight. And post 100 lead, wins 13-3 to three in game seven. 13-3 to three after eight innings on the mercy rule, the 10-run rule. And we'll be back with our College Building Supplies post-game show continuing. We'll look at stats and our player of the game brought to you by Medical Center Pharmacy. Don't go away. For over 50 years, Napa Auto Parts in Cherryville has been locally owned and operated. Napa Auto Parts in Cherryville specializes in auto parts, paint, hydraulic hoses, and more. 
Plus, they have an experienced and knowledgeable staff working to serve you, no matter what your automotive needs are. See Drew and his crew of automotive specialists at Napa Auto Parts, 905 East Main Street in Cherryville. Call 704-435-4581 today. Cherryville and North Lake Country Club are both open to and welcome to the public. Both locations have been recently remodeled and are available for weddings and receptions, also reunions, corporate and private parties, and more. The Cherryville Country Club is open for lunch and supper Thursday and Friday from 11 to 9, and both Cherryville Country Club and the North Lake Country Club are accepting new memberships at this time. The Cherryville Country Club golf course is also available to the public. Come on down for a great meal and great golfing experience. Cherryville Country Club and the North Lake Country Club. Folks, welcome back to Frehley Field, where Post 100 is celebrating on the field, getting their pictures taken. The mamas are on the field. The press is on the field, and uh, we're gonna we'll get a picture some pictures up for you guys uh, on Facebook for the series. Congratulations, Cherryville Post 100, for their sixth straight Area Four Final Championship. Milton, and they'll head to Granite Falls next Wednesday to face Apex at 4:30. And uh, we are we know we'll have radio coverage. Uh, we got to make some phone calls here in the next day or two, and uh, make sure that we can uh, acquire and, and allow yeah. us to come do the video too. The man well, you might want to talk to right there on the field, Bill Murray. He's the area four commissioner. Well, I'm sure he'll I heard be him up talking there. earlier, and he told somebody that uh, we're, they were counting radio stations, and uh, well, somebody told him, "Well, Cherville has two, and he goes, "Well, there's only room for one up there, mm. so." I, he, I guess he's going to tell one of us we can't come up there. So who knows what's going to happen? We'll and find with, out. with these decisions, Milton, I mean, <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Well, final here, 13-3. Cherryville wins the Area 4 Finals in Game 7. Knock off the Gaston Braves four games to three. And their sixth record, sixth straight Area 4 championship going back to the state tournament. They won it last year in Moorhead City. And this year it's a little closer to home, so we hope I know the Cherryville fans will turn out to support Post 100 Wednesday afternoon around 4.30. All right, let's look at the line score here, then we'll uh, come back after a break and look at our uh, Medical Center Pharmacy MVP for the Braves. Three runs, seven hits, two errors, left seven on base. Uh, for Post 100, 13 runs, 12 hits, two errors, left seven on base. The game... Uh, Eight-inning game ends on the 10-run rule in the bottom of the eighth with bases loaded and two out. Dustin Wilson, I'm not sure, is this Dustin's last appearance at Cherville? Is he, a, is he aging out? I can't remember what it was the, uh, when, when you saw it or not. But he gets a pinch hit, uh, double in that gap in uh, right center where he's hit it a bunch here lately. And he gets a bases clearing double to make it a 10-run lead. And that that's enough. That's the 10-run rule. And Cherryville knocks off the uh, Gaston Braves. And just a lot of photographers from uh, all over getting their picture down there on the field. Or they're huddling up right now with Coach uh, Bobby Reynolds and uh, a bunch of excited young men and fans as well. All right, let's take a, a quick break. We'll come back and name our MVP. Brought to you by Medical Center Pharmacy. The College Boom Supplies postgame show continues in a moment. Since 1900, the Stamey Funeral Home in Faustin has been serving the families of our area with the finest in funeral service. In 1998, the Tysinger family began to serve the families of the Cherryville community and today are a proud member of that community, providing services with dignity and respect. Caring for your family like our own, that's their slogan. Come talk with manager Pete Kraft about the services they provide at the Stamey Cherryville Funeral Home, 405 North Dixie Street in Cherryville. All right, folks, welcome back. College Building Supplies post-game show here at Fraley Field. Final score again, 13-3, to Cherryville on the Mr. Barkey Hauser Drug Scoreboard. Dustin Wilson is out there with the final eight, Milton, yep. so that was his that last, was his his game last at bat. What, what a memory that'll be for that young man, his last at bat. Uh, and Kraft, right, uh, a couple of batters before him, I think it was. Um, Kraft to uh, pinch hit there uh, for Huff. He got a base hit. Uh, excuse me, Kraft pinch hit for Chandler Jenkins. He got a base hit in his last at bat coming off the bench and get, not getting to play much in his series, Kraft, because of the sore back. So good job 
for those two guys getting hits in their last at bat here at uh, uh, Fraley Field as they age out of the program. And Dustin Wilson, the game ending three run double. What a what a shot it was. And it was the first pitch thrown from Nate Buchanan, who the Braves had gone to just seconds before that hit. Well, uh, let's look at our uh, college, or excuse me, our uh, in our College Boom Supplies postgame show, our Medical Center Pharmacy MVP of the game. And tonight, guys, a pretty good team effort all the way around there. Pretty good team effort. We're going to give co-MVPs yep. and a lot of honorable mentions, but co-MVPs to Seth Weekly, the starting pitcher, who, who did very well. Dylan Hastings came in and, and finished up things. And Weekly scored three runs. He had uh, two hits. He was two for uh, he was two for uh, three he's, with he's a two walk. Two three with two walk. No, yeah, one walk. On one walk, the and, other. And yeah. he didn't get out one time tonight mm -hmm. and scored two runs. So he's one co-MVP. Luke Kaiser, the other, he didn't get out. Uh, at all either and he he doubled <laughs> in singled. fact he scored <laughs> yeah he scored four times he doubled singled reached on air and doubled again he scored every time got one rbi it, and a heck of a job behind the plate he's done all year and we thought you know we thought we were just going to go with just weekly since he pitched and didn't get out on the mound that we started looking at the lineup and luke kaiser by himself milton beat the gaston braves tonight with four runs so luke kaiser four the gaston braves three post from hunter threw in six uh no uh no, uh, nine nine extra runs just on top for extra insurance. But Luke Kaiser didn't need nobody's help tonight. That's right, <laughs> did Kaiser. He have any RBIs? Kaiser had one. one had so one he, RBI was, there. He, he was responsible for five runs tonight. Sure was. Way to go, Luke Kaiser, and the uh, Medical Center Pharmacy MVP award there for Kaiser, and uh, we'll go with Weekly also co MVPs. These guys are just excited. They're going to the state tournament. They're record setting sixth straight area four championship. Cherryville does it. They'll play it as it is right now. A schedule for 4:30. You know right. how games in tournaments are. Could be a little different than that 4:30 start time. But they're scheduled to play at 4:30. I guess that would be game three up yeah. there at uh, they're, Granite they're, Falls. They start at 9 9:30, 12:30, 4:30, and 7:30. All right, 4:30. Cherryville and Apex. Apex, the runner-up in Area One. So, uh, Coach Reynolds, as you can see on your What's Up Shopper camera, being interviewed at the mound there by Richard Walker. And uh, great job for the guys tonight. Cherville led all the way. Closest it ever got was 5-3 uh, to three at one point. Well, the final score again on the Mr. Sparky House Drug Scoreboard, Cherville 13, the Gaston Braves 3. You heard it all on the B-Square Construction broadcast, and you've been listening to the College Building Supplies post-game show. And thanks to Medical Center Pharmacy, our MVP award. Thanks to Pat's Drive-In, our pregame meal throughout the baseball season and the high school season as well. For all our cameramen, the guys out there bringing you those great shots, uh, Shandy Clark and Freddie Farley, and for Kevin Hastings, this is Milton Baker saying thanks for listening in. Post 100 Baseball, a production of KTC Broadcasting. We'll see you Wednesday of next week in the state tournament at MS Steel Stadium in Granite Falls. We now rejoin WOHS Programming in Progress. <laughs>